Hey, everybody. <laughs> I'm going to give myself a couple of minutes while everybody is getting on. Make sure we get Instagram going. So I'm just clicking on Instagram. So if you're watching on the replay, come jump to about the two minute mark. And that way you can get involved with everything that we're doing. But I already see some people on. So I'm going to do some shout outs real fast. Hello, 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 everybody. How's it going? I see Daida on. I see Holly, Danielle, Vicky. Hey, everybody. I still don't have my voice back. Can you tell? I'm still like a raspy, a hot mess. <laughs> so today we're going to be doing our unboxing of what was going on at Creativation for 2024. Uh, it, there, we're going to be going through some stuff here, people. Oh my goodness. There's so much to show you. Oh, it, it, it is. It's been a blast. Now I want to say the voice is starting to come back. I don't know if you can tell if it's a little raspy. How is the sound? I tweaked with the sound again. I've been messing with my mics again. <laughs> I feel like it's a never ending mic battle around here, making sure that it's good. So I know we have a bit of delay. Hi, Alice. Hi, Holly. Hello. Hey, Leslie. Calgary, Alberta in the house. What, what? Hey, Lisa. So I'm just over here looking at the comments to see who is on, who is talking, how's everything going, making sure I don't leave anybody. Hey, Tanya. So again, if you're watching on the replay, catch me at the two minute mark. We're going to say hello to all of our crafty people today. Hey, everybody's in the house. Sound is good. Great, because I was watching on one of the other replays, and I had, so I use StreamYard when I do my lives, and I had it clicked that it would automate and it would, like, auto-correct my sound and my volume, but I was already doing that manually, and I kept hitting these really tinny sounds. So I want to make sure we're, we're good in the hood here, right? Yeah, we're all, we're all set. All right. So... Apparently I didn't hit, uh, there we go. Now Instagram is live. Here we go. Instagram is in the house. May May highly recommends me. Oh, I, I was there. I, she is the sweetest person in the world. Oh my goodness. She is a super sweetie. Um, we kept on, so last year, we met last year for the first time in person at Creativation in 2023 when we were in Columbus. And it was one of those we just happened to bypass. I was filming. We both went to the same booth first. Totally missed her and like I missed everybody. And Everybody watching live was like, Maymay's there. Go see hi to Maymay. There's Vinny. There's Vinny. And it's like, finish it. Like, it was just like crazy, right? So I abruptly turned around because I was in between booths, went back and said hello. And then we just kept bumping into each other all last year and then bumping into each other off camera all of this year. So well, we, we, I saw a lot of Maymay. <laughs> and she is the biggest sweetheart. And she is amazing. So yeah, hello everybody who's on. Again, we're gonna get started. Um, well, we're already past that two minute mark. So here we go. So maybe I should have said the three minute mark. Anyway, so you saw some stories about May May this year. Hey everybody, it's Erin Reed from Erin Reed Makes and we're gonna do an unboxing for Creativation 2024. So welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, let's do our official sign in here. We gotta get my brand going. Here we go, here we go. Uh, if I can find it, there we go. Welcome to the show. All right, so I just done a bunch of shout outs to everybody who is on who is on live right now. If you're watching the replay, thanks so much for watching that replay. And don't forget to hit that like button. I'm gonna say that a few times. I always forget. I was watching May May yesterday and she was saying, you know, like they were commenting about how many people hadn't hit that like button. I'm like, I never say that. I always forget to like, hey, subscribe. Hey, hit that like button. Hey, do this. I just, I'm like, let's go. <laughs> so hey, Sarah, Sarah, Sarah. Okay, so. Oh my goodness, Creativation. I live for this show. I love this show and I have a ton of fun. This year, I got to bring an amazing friend with me. She was my partner in arms, my dear friend, Rhonda. You will, you probably saw her on a bunch of my reels because I had reels that went up every almost every day. I did take one day off. She's in a lot of the live videos. Uh, we were spanning around. She was holding the camera pretty much the entire time so I could walk up, get the mic close to everybody. Uh, she was my bed buddy, so we roomed together. She was in my room, one of my roommates that I had at the show. We went everywhere together. We had so much fun, and I cannot thank her enough for all that she did because she is a rock star. So if you've not checked out her channel, Whisking Glue and something, it, it, uh, I'm, I'm going to say it is all wrong. Here it is. Hang on. Whisk and glue, and that's what I do, Rhonda Bennett. It's right over there on my screen, so it's, it's a long one. But if you if you type in whisk and glue, you can find her channel. So she has some unboxings of some other items that I didn't get to. But let's actually jump into these fun, fun, fun unboxings because it is just, they're so much fun. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Hello. <laughs> and she's on. Hey, Rhonda. 
All right, so click on that so you can see her. Now I will put out this big caveat to begin with. I am unboxing everything that I got as I was walking around the showroom floor, um, before the showroom opened, after the showroom closed. If I went to a special event, no, sorry, only one special event is being shown. We went to a dinner with the designers and we got a goodie bag full of supplies from some amazing companies. I'm gonna open that up. And I'm also going to be unboxing all of the goodies I got from my amazing creative friends. And I'm gonna be shouting all these people out. Now, I've not put links to any of these companies or to these designers yet, but on my YouTube channel, when I'm done, this is what I'm gonna do after the fact, I had it all organized and I didn't, anyway, my job after. I'm gonna be tagging and linking everybody on my YouTube channel. So if you're watching from Facebook or Instagram, go to my YouTube channel and all the links to where that company is at, at this moment, because some companies, and I'll give you a heads up about that, some of the companies while they're at the show is because they're trying to get picked up by, let's say scrapbook.com or a cherry on top, or they're trying to get picked up by Michaels. So at this moment, I'm linking to where you can find them right now, but in a year from now, they might be all over the place. And one of the companies for sure is gonna be just everywhere can be amazing. I cannot wait to see how much this company is going to be such a hit in the country, in the United States, specifically Canada too, because they are just so amazing. All right. Tell me which company had from the, um, had the foam that could be used for block printing. Ooh. Uh oh. Had the foam that could be used for block printing. Now you got me curious. Hey, Taylor. Oh my goodness. Foam for block printing. Oh my God. My brain is on fire. Okay. I, I have to think about that. Give me more context. I saw so many amazing companies. <laughs> I will do my best. So there's also going to be a second unboxing video, but that is only for my YouTube subscriber members. So if you are a paid member on my YouTube channel, those are going to be all the unboxings from the special events or my paid classes that I went to. So those are some really cool, fun behind the scenes products you guys are going to get to see. So I went to a creative professionals only event that is going to be unboxed and that is going to be on Friday. So be looking for the email if you are one of my paid members for that video and it's only going to be live streamed to my paid YouTube members. So make sure you become a member. Plus, plus I'm giving away swag bags because I cannot keep all of this amazing, amazing stuff. Now, some of the items that I got from companies because I work with those companies, I will keep those where they were given specifically for me to use to promote the companies. That's not the products I'm talking about. But as I unboxed, I will explain some of the fun things that I got from some of these companies that I'm gonna be passing along to all of you. All right, for carving your own stamp designs. Um, okay, I'll have to go back and look. I cannot remember, I, 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 I read you, I read your question, I see it. I cannot think of the name of the company right off the top of my head, but I will go back and watch that video. And also, I've only done it for day one so far. I went through and tagged every company and I timestamped every company in that day one live video and a link to where they can find, a link to the YouTube channel, any, any creatives that we bumped into that we said hi to. I'm gonna do that for day two and day three. It just takes me a little while because day one video was the shortest <laughs> day two and day three there's a lot going on in those ones day three video oh my goodness we were all over the place so their booth was right before yes i remember where the booth was i absolutely remember we were playing with it they had all these cool tools i absolutely remember it but i do not remember off the top of my head what the name of that company is it was red i remember that too um like i have full memory of that but i cannot remember the name of the company so i'll have to go back and look but i will be time stamping and i will be linking all those companies again day one video is the only one that's done also there is more video content to come because i had an assistant this year rhonda she was absolutely amazing we have video footage because i brought an extra camera that we shot so more video footage coming there's a recap of my entire time there is also what my top trends and top hot trends i noticed so there's more content to come from creativation 2024 so yeah be looking out for that this is just one more of those fun videos all right i feel like i i've chatted enough <laughs> um oh, it was a company so Rhonda, it was a company that was all their own thing so are they going to be asking Simon? no they're not at, it's not it wasn't simon hurley it wasn't a demo it was its own booth and I exactly remember what it was. And I know I can go back to that video and find it unless somebody wants to jump over. But don't leave the video. Come on, we're going to have some fun. <laughs> but thank you, Sarah. You're exactly right. It is that video where everybody's talking about. Okay, so let, let's let's jump over. Let, let's flip around. Um, so first of all, 
one of the amazing companies I got to demo in. There's going to be some products we're going to be showing. This is going to be a long video, people. So like, go grab yourself like something to drink, something to eat. You know, don't 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 stray too far from the camera here because you know we're going to have some fun today. <laughs> and I don't have to pick up my kid real close. So my badge. So I'm going to show you guys my badge. My, my fun, fun, fun badge. Oh my goodness. So this is some of the swag stuff I'm talking about that I'm able to pass along. Not all of my personal buttons. These are mine. But there was extra buttons that I was able to pick up. There's also stickers. Yes, there's real products too that you guys are going to get. I'm just uh, like one at a time. One thing at a time. Look at all this goodness. So pins and stickers are a huge deal. And I'm going to lay some of these out. So I got an extra one. And my amazing, amazing friend. She is on. She is watching from, oh, here we go. So uh, the banner on the booth says E-S-S-D-E-E. -E. That's the carving booth. I'll, again, I'll link all that stuff. So my amazing friend, she is on right now watching live from Instagram. Um, this She made these. She made so many because national March is National Craft Month. And so I snagged an extra button. So one of you lucky, lucky members of my YouTube channel who is going to get a fun swag bag sent to you. If you are a glitter or a silver member, so my top two members, you're going to be getting. So I grabbed an extra one of those. I also have Parkside Crafts from James Park. If I don't have it on here, that means I'm keeping it because <laughs> I didn't get to. I, I ran out of room. One of my amazing friends, she's doing the Society of Wildflowers. This is uh from Ritzy's party, she's doing that. I have an extra Stacy Park button that's going to be going on here. A barely art. And I just grabbed one of a few that I have extras that I did not bring on camera. So it, you, that I have like two or three of these. Oops, that's a sticker. I got some Ranger pins. Oh my God, I'm such a pin snob. I, Rhonda and I, if you guys noticed, we went through and we made sure, and they said right on camera, you can grab every single one of every color. And um, I grabbed a couple extra. So these were, I have a couple extra to pass on. Here's Ecstasy Crafts. This is one, and I have that one on. <gasps> no, I don't have that one. See, but I grabbed a couple of those. Some of the other fun buttons, these are from Dina Wakely. And I have these ones from previous years, so I'm going to pass these ones out. We also have Stencil One. They have these little pin backs. So I have a couple of packages of these. And then I have a ton of stickers. This is just a sampling, a sampling of some of the fun items that I was able to pick up. Look at this paint puck. I'm going to keep a couple of them because I am a snicker snob and I am a pin snob. I, I have like a whole place where I put them up. But if I have duplicates, absolutely going out to everybody. Look how cute these are. So these are just some of the stickers uh, that we're able to pick up. These are so much fun from Lindy. And some of the companies are like, yeah, take a bunch. Absolutely, take a bunch. So here we go. Keep painting. Uh, Real art is an artificial. That was from Arteza. That was actually the very, very last booth that we toured around and watched. <laughs> it was so much fun. But yeah, I put a bunch of badges on myself. So I have Troublemaker, Runs With Scissors, Celebrating National Craft Month, and I am somebody. <laughs> so I had a ton of fun with that. What was the giraffe? The giraffe was a company. This is from Mc, Mc, uh, M I C A D O R early start. So this was one of the companies that had uh, a bunch of other companies together in there and they had um, lots of little fun stuff in there. One of the things they had was this air dry clay and these little tiny packets. They were really cute. So that's where this one came from. Um, ampersand is, is, we did a booth tour with them. Paint Puck, they have Cleaner Arteza, Alumilite. They have a lot of different resins and things. So yeah, lots of fun stuff. Here's RNF paints, Lindy's we've got. This one's from Sticker Mule. And this is another one from, Mc, sorry, Macaddy. I'm probably not saying that right. Oh, Macador, sorry, Macador Jr. They had lots of kids crafts ideas that were there. So lots of fun stuff. And the Ranger, I got a few of these. So, so many, this is just, I have bags. You guys, this is hilarious. I have, oops, that was supposed to transfer. There we go. I have all of my stuff organized here in bags. I took a picture of it on my Instagram stories to show you because I had to organize it all because it was all cause coming home all was a mess. But I sat down in my craft workroom. That's actually my old spare bedroom. And I organized it. So as I pulled everything out, it would make sense. So this was bag one. So I need to put it back so it doesn't turn into a hot mess. Um, but yeah, no, I come home and I have embroidery hoops where I put all my pins and buttons from each year. And what I'm yet to do is I'm going to take the lanyard that's on here and wrap it around it. So it's like each 
embroidery hoop represents that particular show and the fun buttons I got because it, and it's getting better and better and better every year. Oh, did I, I didn't comment on the buttons I had on my, on my lanyard. Oops. Let's go, let's do that real fast. Cause there are some amazing buttons on here. All right. Mine's not on here. I didn't put my own, which is weird. Um, Lindo printing was the stamp making company. There we go. Lindo printing. Aha. So there we go. So here I have penny black. This one is the Acme a &P. They're the ones that have the seal of if your product has a good feel. I don't remember where I got this one, but it was super cute. Oh, shoot. Eileen Hull. Here I have Cassie. She was another one of my roommates. Here we have uh, the Crafty Blog Stalker. I ran into her. This is Rhonda's. This is one of Rhonda's. She had a couple of them. Whisk and glue, and that's what I do. That's one of Rhonda's. Stacey Parks. Here at Silhouette Secrets. Ellie Mays. Uniquely Creative. Here we have Sarah. Hers is down here. She's on Craft Express. We have Lolly Palooza. The Create is from uh, Janet. She was one of our, uh, 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 sorry, <laughs> Creative Professionals. So I have one, I'm just counting Creative Professionals here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight Creative Professionals. Hey, you know, like they actually have, they're like me, we're all the Creative Professionals. But there was so many others. She's actually just about to join. So get yourself joining here. <laughs> so how do you attend? I always get this question. And I'm going to address this again. So how to attend Creativation, uh, which is in NAMTA. It's, a, it's the trade show that's put on by the organization called NAMTA, which is an art materials. Uh, oh, I cannot think of the word. Organization. <laughs> Association. Um, and so you can either join as a creative professional, which is myself. This is what I do for a living. I work with different companies. I, everything I do is in the creative industry. I help you know, create products. I make my own products. I work with companies. I'm a content creator. You know, I host events. I go to the shows, you know, all that stuff, right? So this is what I do as a job. This is what I do for a living. So you can also, if you are a manufacturer, if you make your own products. So if you have a company that makes products in the crafting industry, in the art industry, anything in those industries, I'm afraid I got lipstick on my teeth. Tell me I don't. Please, please, please tell me I don't. Um, you can have either come and walk the showroom floor or you could have a booth. You can also be a buyer. So you're a store. If you're a big store, Michaels, Joanne, any of those, um, scrapbook.com, Cherry on Top was there. So I'm just naming a few. Dick Blick, they'd be walking around. So, but you could also have a mom and pop store. You could have an online store. You could also be a distributor like Notions or Ecstasy Crafts. Um, so there's so many ways that you can be. You could also be a promoter. You could be, a, so there's lots of hats that go along with who is there, but you are a paid member of the association and you are there to help promote the whole part of arts and crafts. And your whole goal is to show off your new products that you have and to have the buyers pick up the products to sell in the stores or online around the country. So we saw a ton of different countries that were there, just to name a few countries. We had, I saw Ukraine, Japan, Canada, um, Australia, had a bunch, um, United States. We had uh, the UK, um, I'm sure there was more. But that's just off the top of my head what I can think of. I believe there's a couple of South American companies. Those were just booths too. That's all, I'm just talking about booths. Who was walking the showroom floor in terms of where else China? Um, I don't remember where, oh, Italy. There was an Italian company, thank you, Sarah. So th there is a worldwide organization and people come from all over the world to showcase their products to get them into the right people's hands. So it's not open to the public, but the way that I was able to bring the public to the show is through video and let you guys, everybody see all the cool stuff. So with that in mind, let's check out some more stuff I got. All right, so in my little handy dandy bags, I also snagged a few extra bags specifically from Uniquely Creative and also from the trade show floor. So the, I'm going to be passing some of those bags along to all of you that are one of my silver or glitter YouTube members. I need to start a Patreon. What are your thoughts on Patreon? I keep humming and bubbing about it. Um, but I also know not everybody goes on YouTube or has that. So, I'm, you know, if you're on Facebook more or if you're, so I, I've always, what are your thoughts on Patreon and going for there? <laughs> all right Rhonda's is still promoting me she is like doing her thing over there <laughs> okay so let me get my next bag you should see the bags down here it's hilarious okay Whew. so this wasn't just a bag this is a bag in a box there's a lot going on here all right so one of my amazing companies that I got to demo with 
uh, I got a couple of different things. So before I even left to get there, I can't wait to see everything. I got, I got so much stuff. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. I see a lot of people leaving Patreon. Interesting. Okay. So before I even left, this is uniquely creative. Oh my goodness. Oh, Tracy sent me this box. Number one, because I always, if I'm going to be demoing, I, I, I'm, I'm going to be really bad and tease this. Before I ever go demo in a booth, I like to get my hands on the products, to play with the products. I don't feel like I'm doing it for the first time. This is what I do for a living. And as I'm promoting that company in their booth, I would like to know everything about it because I'm going to get asked all kinds of questions while I'm demoing or while I'm doing the make and take. So for Uniquely Creative, for two days, the first and second day of the showroom floor, I was at the make and take table showing people how to do the make and take and guiding them through and explaining what how amazing their products are. So I always like to get something in my hands before I show up. So this was the box I got. And it wasn't just my make and take. So she sent me releases of upcoming months. You ready to see them? I'm ecstatic. <laughs> so yes, oh my goodness. So this was a little sneak peek of what we were doing. So here she had a whole bunch of fun sentiments. So maybe passing some of these along. She also hand cut. Um, so, <laughs> so she said, she, uh, little fun notes. She sent me a pair of her scissors. Oh my goodness, these scissors are the bomb. I did not take them out and use them because I knew I was going to be using them at the show, but I already knew a lot about them. And I am so, so excited about these scissors. So I, I, I don't want to take them out of the package because they're just so pretty, but I'm going to. I'm going to do it right now because they have turned easily into my favorite scissors. What I love about these scissors, you can be a righty, you can be a lefty, and explain to me, like, okay, my mother is a lefty, I am a righty, and I grew up in my house with lefty scissors. So I fully understand um, the plight people have of not having the right-handed scissors, but this solves that problem. They feel like butter. They're so easy, they glide wonderfully, and the color is fantastic, is blush. <laughs> And they're just fantastic. They have a nice sharp tip. They clean beautifully. And they're just a wonderful pair of scissors. And the price point on these is phenomenal. And I will have to say that quite a few companies in the United States are going to be picking these up and selling them. So this is a company that's based out of Australia. A little bit of a backstory about them. They were here in the States before COVID. So four years ago, you could find their products. Um, but then COVID made shipping across the world very, very difficult with all the supply shortages. So they pulled out of all their products from the United States and they are back with a bang. So yeah, they were probably the biggest wow factor in terms of booth. They were phenomenal. They had an amazing, and I have a booth tour specifically of their company that is live on my YouTube channel. So it's a dedicated video, just the owner is showing us around. And we did it during one of the times when I was demoing in the showroom floor. And so you have to go check that out. It is fantastic. I'm just looking over here to see if we have anything else going on. We have uh, some more people in the house. Hello, some quick shout outs. Hey, Jennifer. Hey, Susan. Hi, Alice. Oh, my goodness. We have so many people on Instagram, too. Hey, everybody. <laughs> All right. So let's take a look at some more stuff. She also sent me, this is what we were doing for the make and take. So she had a dedicated die. And so here is a little comment here. So she had a dedicated die. Here's our make and take. Can't wait to see. And then we had this die that was going to cut out the sheet. And we, she sent me a few of these. So I already played with one. And you, we die cut out a couple. I'll show you what the make and take look like here in a minute. It's super cute. We fussy cut out with the scissors because we wanted everybody to try the scissors while we were doing the make and take. So we were fussy cut out. Here we had some uh, little tags you could cut out. And these tags or these dies that we have that are these tags, they're layering tags. They work with a lot of the pattern papers they have in their collections. So that is what's really cool. Then on top of that, we have they, she has all these little lace pieces. Look how cute. And they're already all pulled apart. And then we had a whole bunch of these little stickers. And these are all individual. Just as a heads up, I'm going to open this up. Because you could just pop off a big one or you could pop off a tiny one. So it's not a full spiral. You just pull off whichever one you want. So it makes it really easy. And so you were decorating and you were creating your own little tag here and then we had pop dots and then we have her this is her distressing tool really easy we had a couple of these sitting on the table and then we have the pin which i already had a pin on my vest i saved this because i didn't want to lose it because it was such a pretty pretty pin but guess what she gave me like six or seven more of these so if you're one of my youtube members you might get one <laughs> i have some fun stuff from them 
So it, it's awesome. It's awesome. So that was our make and take. Um, this is the scissor holder. So I'm going to pop this out right now because I can pop it onto my scissors. It's just the protective thing, which we all know how sharp this end is. And my daughter goes in my drawer all the time and I want to protect my scissors. So this is your scissor protector. So it comes, it fits perfectly. There it is. So that is also available. Um, here we go. So she said, oh, she sent me a nice little note. It's the little things, oh my goodness. It is those tiny little things like this that really sets apart a company in my mind uh, comparatively. And all the companies I work with are so amazing. And they just, they're just so thoughtful. Not every company does this. Sometimes they just send you a box and no context. But I love this. I love this because it just means that like they're 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 wanting to be part of this relationship and they understand it, it tells you the heart behind what they do and what they love. And that's just that means a lot to me. All right. <laughs> All right. They were also passing out jelly beans, which I left these at home thinking, OK, I'm going to give these to my kids and I was going to do it at Easter. And then they passed out more jelly beans at the showroom floor. They were passing out all kinds of stuff. I will have to tell you the other amazing thing this company did. I got their catalog. Um, okay, so this is the new releases. And I cannot believe she sent this to me. This was phenomenal. I am not giving this away. Sorry, everybody. But I am unboxing it for everybody because this is sent to me to work with. But I wanted to show you all the amazingness that's coming up. So this is their April and May releases. So let's take a look. So here we have, look at all these. And we saw these on the showroom floor while we were walking around and doing um, the booth tour. But look at, oh, these are the creative cuts. These ones are like these vellum ones that you have. These ones are all die cut out already. This is from the same collection we did the make and take, which is in this other bag I'm going to show you in a minute, which I just happened to pop on the floor. But I want to show you the stuff first. So here's the creative. So here's the two different collections. So here we have more of a lavender collection. And then here we have more of a peachy, you know, kind of their color of their brand and their products, which is right here. So here is the dimensional stickers. We have a few different things in here. Oh, she's, she gave a few things. Here we go. So scenic routes, here we go, can show now. Um, well, I'm showing everything. <laughs> so scenic route, peonies and proteas, a wisteria lane and vintage chronicles. So there, these are the ones they're bringing to Creativation. We did launch them at Creativation and they are, lots of these are getting picked up by companies here in the United States. So you should start seeing them. Another pin, oh my goodness, she kept giving me pins. And they're the nice pins too. They're the real enamel ones. Oh my goodness. <laughs> uh, sign, yes, sign up for the newsletter. Sign up for the newsletter. So just look at these. Here's some rub-ons. I'm not sure which ones go to which collection. These, I fell in love with these Scrabble tiles. They were so, so cute. Look at these little buttons. And then they have the dies. Look at this die. <gasps> Oh my goodness. Here's some more. So I didn't get everything from every collection, but take a look at the paper pack. So here we have, this is the scenic route. And she was saying like, this one is great if you are going on any kind of travel trip because it's just travel in any way, shape or form. We've got airplanes, we've got just, you know, taking pictures, traveling around the world. So lots of fun travel stuff. So it definitely can work for card making or for scrapbooking. I love how it's not scrapbooking, it's not completely dying here. Here we have peonies and proteas, and just look how beautiful. One of the things that we noticed when we were doing the tour, and I'm going to pop this one out because I think it was in this collection, was that I love pretty papers. I am, there's two things I love when it comes to paper collections, cutesy and elegant. I love, love, love them. Oh, see here, here's the dies. It's even on the back. Look at that, how smart that is. It's right there on the back. You can dye using those dies. And look, here's that little koala. Oh, Rhonda, get through. This little guy right here, there's a name for this little cute guy and you can go, it's only found in a certain part of Australia and you can get, you can, um, they take selfies with you and it looks like they're smiling and they come up and they stand there and they just want a selfie with you. And I cannot write, there's a platypus kangaroo. Um, but, oh, what was the name of that little thing? There it is. Uh, Kokla, uh, Kokla, is that right? Kokla? They are the cutest little things. And at first I didn't understand, but it's the, they're in this collection. They're hiding around in this collection. There's a few of them. Um, where is it? There it is. There he is again. <laughs> but they're the cutest little animals. But here's what I'm talking about. If you are a scrapbooker, you get these beautiful, beautiful papers. 
and they have it all over and they're so pretty. You don't know where to put your picture if you're gonna do a scrapbooking page layout. But look, they've already kind of framed out. This is a perfect spot to put a picture and then you can build on top of that. So they've already given you a framework for where to go. Same here, look, they've already kind of built in. This is where your layers are gonna be. And here's where your picture, you can have a picture here and a picture here. Like you can already see where the layout's gonna be for a scrapbook page. Here's another one. You can lay it right across here. Have your pictures lined up and build from there. It's, it's so, so smart. Here it is again. You can have a little cluster here. You can have your picture right there. I mean, it's like I look at it. See, look how cutie this is. We did a full tour of this booth, and a lot of these collections were there. I'm just going to show you again. Here is the Wisteria Lane. Love, love, love these purples. So, so pretty. Oh, my goodness. Just look at this. Look at this. And there's a whole set of stamps that go along. There's faces. I want to say there's four or five faces. That Coqua, the happiest animal in the world. That's it. That's that cute little Coqua. It's so adorable. And like, look at all the bottles. Oh, this just is, is so stinking cute. And then here we have the Chronicles, and it's got the Scrabble tiles. And look at the lace. Oh, but just look and look on the back. So cute. So, yes, I was chit chatting with some of the companies that are the buyers. And I know for a fact that two or three of the companies are absolutely going to be uh, putting an order in. They already did. They already did. Absolutely. So these pieces right here that I showed you, this, these collections, I cannot pass these out to you guys. I'm so sorry. But here's what I do have from Uniquely Creative. And I didn't get just one of these. I got a few of these. I have a few of these. So they did a make and take over at... Um, Demo Alley. I did not run this. Her husband and her daughter was there. It was so cute. Tracy's daughter was there. They are actually taking an extended vacation and they're hanging around in different parts because they already traveled to the U.S. They are taking time and they're doing a whole other extra week being here since they already came to the States, which is wonderful. And so she gave me a couple extra of the uh, make and takes they were doing in Demo Alley. So I have a couple of these to pass out. So there's a few of those. I also have, she gave stencils away to every single person who came by the booth. And I got a good handful of stencils, stencils from them. So that's from Uniquely Creative. She also gave me some more pins to pass out to everybody. And I also have some more of these sheets, the little half sheets here to do the make and take. And I just wanted to show you, this was an example of the make and take that we did in that most adorable thing ever. Hey, Ashley, Ashley's on from Artist Spree, yo, yo. Um, now, one other thing, here it is. Remember I was talking about how amazing a company can be and how wonderful they are? Sorry, I keep doing this. It looks really stupid when I put it back, so I gotta remember, pull them forward, Aaron, pull them forward. Frames your face, frames your face. Makes you look thinner. <laughs> how wonderful, amazing companies can be, and this, but Tracy is no exception. At some point, I don't mention this super, super often, but she heard me mention at some point that I'm gluten-free and her daughter is. And she brought me a treat and I've never had them. I've been to Australia, but last time I was in Australia, I think I had my seventh birthday. It was either sixth or seventh. I'm pretty sure it was my seventh birthday. I used to live in Asia years ago. So I had my seventh birthday while I was in Australia. I don't remember Tim Tams being a thing. Um, in any way, shape, or form. Like, I, I have no recollection of that. I don't know if it's just because they came out later, but they're huge now. Tim Tams are amazing, right? And you hear about them, and everybody goes nuts. So she brought me, and I cannot, it was wrapped in lace, and it had a little tag on it, said thank you. And she, because they just got, came out. I already ate them. <laughs> I kept the package so I could talk about it. Gluten-free Tim Tams. She found that video of me at some point, but I don't mention it that it's not like every single video I mentioned it. So either it was totally rando that she happened to watch that video or she's been watching my videos, one of the two. So if you're on, hey, Tracy. <laughs> but like she clicked into her head that I had said that her daughter is also gluten free and she went out of her way to find me the gluten free Tim Tams and brought them to me as a present. Tell me how amazing that is. I, I about like just broke out and cried <laughs> right then and there that because I was fully accepting. She's handing it to me. I realized they're Tim Tams. I'm like, oh, this is so awesome. My kids are going to love them. And I was not going to say a thing about that. I could not eat them because that's not something I tell every single person. Well, now I do apparently. But that she thought about that. Oh, my goodness. It just, yeah, super thoughtful. So 
above and beyond. I tell you what, this company is awesome. It treated me like a queen, I will have to say, and their products are second to none. So be looking out, and as soon as I know that they're available here in the States, I will be letting all of you know, because, yeah. So anyway, yeah, yeah they, they are amazing. I'm loving all the comments. Yeah, it's, so if you go, if you go to Australia, you gotta get yourself some Dim Dams, get the gluten-free ones, they're really good. <laughs> But no, she had wrapped it all up. It had a little pretty tag on there. No, the, the entire, everybody in the company, her daughter was the sweetest. And so as I opened up the package, and it was on one of my reels, me opening it up and eating them, I gave her some because it's something she could eat as well because she couldn't have the regular ones. And anyway, we had a little bonding moment on that. So whew, it, it, was, it was a fun, fun time. Very thoughtful. Absolutely very thoughtful. All right, now I'm going to put all these items back in the bag so I don't get them confused with everything else. Is that a lot of stuff? <laughs> That stuff. So yeah, Uniquely Creative was one of the amazing companies that was there. Some of my friends have been shopping on their site and shipping is great price. Yeah, so you don't have to wait for them to come to the States. You can directly shop to uh, Australia and they do have amazing prices to ship back to here. It's not what I would call the cheapest comparatively if you purchase from if it was here in the States and the distributor would pick it up. But it's not going to be horrible, horrible, horrible and you can get it now. So again, after I'm done, all the companies and all the people I'm shouting out, because we're going to be shouting out some awesome creatives, um, I will be linking all of these to the bottom of my YouTube video after this is done. So I'm just sorting my crap back. I, there's like six more bags down here full of stuff. <laughs> and I can't just drop it on the ground because I will have no place to stand. So bear with me while I put this away. But I am putting my scissors in my, I have a scissor drawer. And it's right here. And they're going in my scissor drawer as we speak, because my goodness. But yeah, it, oh, it, it was an awesome, awesome show. And I cannot wait to tell you all of the good stuff that happened. But that is actually another video, is my entirety of my trip, what I went through, all like all the fun stuff. So, whew. all right, go on to the next one. Here we go, okay, so this is gonna be like total rando bag, what I'm picking up now, because I don't know what's in here. Oh, well, let's just have some, oh, no, I know what I'm gonna do next. I sorted my bags by either by a company that I was with, that we hung out with, so we did a video or I demoed, or this bag is items I got from all of my creative friends that I hung out with, and they gave me fun things. So let me pull some of this stuff out. And also what I gave out to everybody as well. I did give out a pin. And I totally miss people. Every, it happens every bloody year. There is people that I will bump into 10,000 times in a show and constantly be running into them. Sarah Renee Clark, you know, the, the color box from Australia, ran into her, oh shoot, like every every day. <laughs> I kept running into the bathroom, ran into her husband, ran into, like, and they brought an assistant to come with them too. Ran into them everywhere, in the hotel, we went out all the time. It was every single time. Another one that I ran into all the time was the other Sarah Clark. There are three Sarah Clarks at the show, by the way. Two of them are professional creatives. So this is Sarah Clark. Uh, <laughs> she made this bag for me, and she handmade my little luggage tag. I love this. And then she also had this little baggie here. And I got to get this other stuff out of the way because it is the cutest thing. So these are all of the people I ran into. Now. Some people I hardly ever saw and I am so bummed, which is why I didn't get my pins to them because like Lolly from Lollipalooza or um, Debbie J, I, I saw them like once in passing and then we were constantly just busy elsewhere. I never saw them. So I didn't get them my pin for whatever reason. Go figure, right? All right. So there's a bunch of extra stuff on here. Pay no attention to the kerfuffle. But this is also from Sarah. Sarah that lives here in the States, not Sarah Renee Clark, the other Sarah Clark. <laughs> So she made this. She, oh, I love this. This is what I thought was the cutest thing ever. She had little fun things like Tic Tacs and other little goodies inside of here. And I use this little baggie every day. This was my little bag that I took and I took all of her stuff out, but I took all of her things and I put in like my energy bar if I need it or my um, powder drink things, my fizzy drink things that I had, my extra buttons, um, extra, like all the things that I needed that were not technical, I threw inside this bag. So I used the bejesus out of this bag. Thank you very much. It was the perfect size for what I needed. It was fabulous. She also made me this little guy. Oh my, it's, it's a real tumbler, but it's in miniature size. And she, oh, 
Isn't that the cutest thing? Drinks well with others. I totally do. <laughs> many, many a picture <laughs> and a story from our time. And oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Uniquely Creative just joined. You, you just missed me. <laughs> I just did all the unboxing of all your amazing products and just got finished touting everything about Uniquely Creative and they just jumped on. <laughs> Go figure. <laughs> Watch the replay. <laughs> I'm just noticing that you jumped on. So, hey, I'm not sure who's watching because all it just says is Uniquely Creative Kit. So I don't know who is watching from Uniquely Creative, but whoever it is, all of you are amazing. If it's Tracy, thank you, thank you, thank you. You were a rock star this entire, if it's anybody from the show, hugs, hugs, hugs. All right, so... Look how adorable this is. So these are all from my creative friends that had little fun gifts. Um, I'm going to give a huge shout out because I go to Deronda, my amazing, amazing, she's my big sister. That's what I'm calling her. And she calls me my little sister because, I mean, we're not old enough to be, I mean, like we're, we're sisters ages apart is the bottom line. And she was, I'm just reading over here looking at comments. And that little Tumblr is pretty cute, right? <laughs> so... Um, I get to the hotel room. They had gotten there way earlier than me on the first day. And I see on my bed two things hanging out on my bed, trying to like not divulge it. Here it is. And these are on my pillow. So this giant container here full of snacks and all kinds of good stuff. She even gave me a hair wrap to put in your hair when your hair's wet. But like wet ones, I didn't, I used some of the things in here. Oh, there was also a couple of uh, chapsticks that people were passing out. I used those. Kleenex, which I should have put in my bag, but I never did. Um, just all kinds of fun stuff. And I have another event I'm leaving to in a couple of weeks that this is going to be my little lifesaver. Look, nail file. She had socks. So much cute stuff in here. And I love this little tote in here. Isn't that awesome? And then she made to Miss Erin Reed. Thank you, Rhonda. And then on top of that, I had mentioned in a video that I wanted to try this and I, it was on my list of things I was very interested in getting and trying out and it was hard to find and she brought me one. She didn't have to, but I'm, I'm, I'm loving it. <laughs> I've been wanting to try this for a while and it was sold out. It was sold out. It was sold out and it just, you know, just one thing after another and she brought one for me. Now, she works in an amazing scrapbook store in Branson, Missouri. So if you ever happen to be driving through Branson, Missouri, or it's a destination for you and your family, you need to go check out the scrapbook store there. It is awesome. She works there. She might be taking it over. I didn't say anything. Didn't say anything. Um, but yeah, it's go check it out. It is. They have all the latest products. You better be getting some uniquely creative in that store. <laughs> I'm telling you. But no, it was phenomenal so yeah she she brought me this and this was sitting on my pillow and i kept eyeing it as i'm walking into the room and i wouldn't i didn't want to be like get mine <laughs> i totally was doing that oh it was it was the best surprise so thank you thank you thank you and i tried not to make such a huge deal about it but it really really is a huge deal i was trying to like keep my composure i had five days to of energy i had to maintain i've had time at home. That's why I'm like bursting right now. But um and no caffeine today too. Go figure. Uh well, I can eat it. Um uh, but yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You are such a sweetie. So those are from Rhonda. Um we also since Trey Jolie is in the house. Oh shoot she gave me the cutest things. So she comes up to me and I don't know where oh I was demoing at the crafters workshop. And she goes, I know you plan. And that's actually the next event I'm going to. I'm going to Go Wild, which is a planner conference in Dallas. I leave, what day is it, the 16th? So yeah, like in two weeks. Which is less than two weeks now. I leave on a Tuesday because my I start stuff on like two weeks from now. I'm going to be sitting in workshops and stuff. And yeah, of course, I'm going to be filming everything. It's going to be so much fun because I've got so many amazing companies I work with that are going to be there. It's not like Creativation where I'm going to be doing booth tours because it's different. It's a different vibe. But yeah, there's there's video content. Do not worry. So she was there. Kim was there. And she was like, do you, I know you do planners. And she says, but I don't know what planner you do. I'm like, I do them all. I do them all. <laughs> I've got every planner out of the sun. And look what she gave me. Oh, isn't that the cute? And she, I know you're on because she's on Instagram right now. Did you paint this? Because it feels hand painted. It is so pretty. It is so pretty. Like this is, I, or she, I don't, it feels very hand painted. And oh my goodness. It is gorgeous, 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 gorgeous. Um, she also gave me, 
<laughs> it's a marathon. <laughs> oh my God. There's another thing going on next weekend too. So over here, she also gave me these little fun things. Now she runs Trejo Lee Kit Club. So if you are wanting to have some amazing, amazing products in a kit sent to you every month, she's got a few different um, things, like two different kits going on. And I never opened it up and realized there was a pin in here, but this is totally mine. Totally mine. You're not getting this. Not everything's being given away, people. <laughs> but she also does chipboard. Look at her beautiful chipboard. You can go to her store, Trejo Lee. I, you did not paint that. Okay. So she's telling me she did not hand paint this. But it is so pretty. I'm loving this. It's going in my, my thing. And just look. A little, little bookmark here. So this is what I love about the show is that we don't just go there. We go to, to meet with companies. We go there to meet with all of our friends because we have so much fun. But I will link her company. Every company, every creative, everybody I'm mentioning here. Little goodies. These are mine, not my children's. I am going to uh, be link tagging everybody on my YouTube channel. And I will tag as many as I can on Instagram when I do this on a replay. So, yeah. Oh, and thank you so much, Bitty Penny, for saying that it's, it's, yeah, it's for a disc pound cover. So, yeah, it's got the, it's for, you know, like the happy planner, anything that's disc bound. But, yeah, it just pops right in. But it's, oh, gosh, so pretty. So pretty, so pretty. This is what I gave out to everybody. <laughs> Feels very small comparative, but my, and people came up to me, Catherine Pooler actually came up to me about four separate times and said, I've used like three things in here. Um, so I made these ahead of time. I designed the container and this is my survival kit. And this one, I don't know if it has everything in here. It might have some pieces missing, but I passed these out to, I passed out all but two. And it was, we got so busy. I didn't get a chance to give it to everybody or I didn't run into people. Hi, Eileen. So I gave my little survival kit to a lot of people. So they got emergency. Some of them, I, I ran out of cards, so not everybody got a card, but I tried to put like an inspiring little card. These came from Bloom uh, Planners. And this one says, you're perfect just the way you are. So I'm actually gonna be taking my survival kits with me to um, my planner conference. So my table mates and some of the companies I work with are gonna be getting them. But I just thought they were fun, but it is truly a survival kit. So if you needed a Tic Tac because your breath is kind of funky, you need some vitamin C because you're feeling a little bit down. You need some hand sanitizer. You need some gum just to kind of, for whatever reason, you forgot to bring your flosser, you know, a Band-Aid, because we all need Band-Aids. Uh, you need some ibuprofen or uh, you need some antacid. So truly a true survival kit that you could have on the showroom floor or throw in your bag. And Rhonda, like we ended up, I was kind of glad that we didn't pass out two of my survival kits because they had Band-Aids in them. And she got a little bit of a blister on the back of her foot. So we pilfered. I got to go back and check to make sure. They're actually, I have them separate. So I can put a new Band-Aid in there. Um, but yeah, it's like things that you don't think to bring with you. But you need that Advil and you don't have it on you. And it's just a quick thing or you ran out. So that was my, we're all getting so many crafty things. But I was like, what would I need if I needed that now? And like, I need a flosser because, you know, I've got something on my teeth and I forgot to bring one or I ran out or whatever. So that was my gift set to everybody. And of course, I had to make it look pretty. <laughs> That's why I passed out. Um, I've done survival kits in the past in a various ways. This is the first time I have done it where it was, you know, like professional looking. It wasn't just like a little zip line. I love all the gifts I got from everybody, I will have to say. But shout out to Sticker Mule because there was a deal on these and I just designed it and I sent in the designs and then I got these back and it was a good deal for these. I loved it. So yeah, sticker mule. <laughs> All right. What else did I get? Oh, one of my other wonderful, wonderful uh, roommates, Cassie, gave me these. She handmade a whole bunch of beautiful books and she let us pick out which design we wanted. And she had all different colors. They were so, so cute. So she handmade every one of these books. And so you could journal on them. You could she, she had so much fun making these, I know. She's got different layers inside. So I picked one, of course, that was kind of bluish, you know, because I'm blue. <laughs> Thank you. The packaging, I love the packaging of that. It was so cute. Um, so another amazing lady, uh, Juliana uh, Avalar. She is Jules, known as, and she does the Jewel Loom. So I got a baby uh, Jewel Loom. This is actually a pom-pom maker. So you can wrap your yarn, tie it, and do the snips, and you have a pom-pom. Super, super awesome. She gave me that. Uh, Lollipalooza, I already put her pin on me on my, my lanyard, but she gave me this little, little chocolate. I didn't eat many of the chocolates that were given to me. 
Um, this one is from Silhouette Secret, but she's also going by Swift Creek Custom. So she's rebranding and coming up. So this is from Ellie Mae. And I did put her pin on. And then I left this in my bag because I didn't, I just thought it was so cute. And then adorable. And it's the perfect color. I love the color. <laughs> uh, like the two Girl Scout always prepared. I am also a Boy Scout leader. I am an assistant scout master in both. So I'm actually a Girl Scout leader and a Boy Scout leader because my daughter is in both and my boys are in Boy Scouts. And my eldest made his eagle. So we're having a ceremony soon. So yes, always be prepared. Always be prepared for things that you need. <laughs> I was the total mom. I had a lot of this stuff making everybody. I was counting heads wherever we went. It was hilarious. Yeah, I can't drop the mom, you know, vibe wherever I go. I'm weird like that. All right, these ones are awesome. So the other Sarah Clark, you know, Sarah Renee Clark from Australia, you probably know her best for, she's the one who made the color cube. So if you need inspiration for color, that is the most amazing product in the world. She's got a couple of different ones out. She's based out of Australia. She and her husband came with an assistant. They were phenomenal, the nicest piece of people you could possibly meet. They were so, so sweet. And it, she was just everywhere. Like that was one of the people I just always were bumping into. And so the very, very first night we're down before the show even starts. This is the first night before classes even open. Um, and she hands me, I was a girl guide too from Canada. I was at, yeah, I was a girl guide. Sorry. Shout out to all of the scouting across the world. <laughs> so this, she gave me this dot journal. This I got the very, very first night. And then we ran into her again, literally as soon as the show closed. It was funny how we kept, and then I ran, this is the funniest thing. I'm on my plane, so many fun stories. I'm on my plane waiting to get to go from uh, New Orleans. And I had to fly to Dallas. And I'm on my phone. I'm editing my latest reel that's going up. I'm, I got my ear pods in. I'm just like doing my work. I'm at the gate. Yeah, I have my drink. And I was finishing my Tim Tams. I had, whoops. Well, there's some crumbs. <laughs> I was just finishing the Tim Tams, and all of a sudden, I hear behind me, Aaron, Aaron, and I'm like, "What? The, the, what? <laughs> you know, I, I know we're all leaving, but we're all going in different directions at different times. Different. Aaron. Guess who's on the plane? Sarah, her husband, her assistant. <laughs> Go figure. <laughs> so, like I said, there's people I run into all the time. <laughs> she was one, including my last flight, and yeah. So just. How hilarious is that? She also gave me, so just to show you, so just the, we've got a lot of stuff to go through here, people. So we're going to be going, but um, here we have the awesome stick. So here we have a summer fun functional stickers, and here we have stickers that you can color, and these will all go in your planners. Super, super cute. So she gave us a couple packs. Rhonda got a couple. I got a couple. It was great. Um, have I brought my scouts to Space Center Houston for the overnight? No, but my eldest son just went there on Monday um, and we are in Austin. So it's about a three and a half hour drive and it just the timing never worked out. But and that's normally a Cub Scout thing. So that would have been a long time ago. My kids are way too old for that now. But no, now we do the big adventures like sea base and stuff like that. But I never got a chance to. But we lived in Houston for a long time. So we went to Space Center Houston just for date, like for the day trip. So we didn't really see a point in spending the night there. Side note. <laughs> You guys get me on well tangents there, right? All right, she oh I yeah, I'm on the right, I'm on the right track. All right, she also gave me look at this. So two times I was given little Australia bears, one from Uniquely Creative and one from Sarah Clark. And they're different. So I got two little koalas. They're so adorable. And then Sarah's bag. Also, we have some Vegemite shapes which because it's a gluten in them, so I'm going to pass them off to my kids. I've been waiting. Um, there was also a Tim Tam in here, but I gave those to my kids. And I ended up getting three of them for whatever reason. So I had one Tim Tam for every child. So I got a little baggie also from uh, Uniquely Creative. Anyway, so I had a few little Tim Tams given to me throughout the, and ended up getting three, which was perfect. So I could eat my gluten-free ones all to myself. And they each got a chance to have one. And then we talked about what a Tim Tam Slam was. And <laughs> if you don't know what that is, go check out what a Tim Tam Slam is. It's pretty cool. All right. Aren't those koalas the cutest? We also have these caramel wallabies, which are pretty cute. They're little chocolates. Um, she gave me a little thing of Vegemite. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> so I told the kids they have to try it for me and tell me what they think. Um, yeah, and then just some more little chocolates. Oh, and then there's this one, too. A, a, 
caramello koala. So you get the theme very, very much from Australia. Super fun. <laughs> it was adorable. Uh, so yeah, so if you don't know Sarah, here she is. So she is Sarah Renee Clark. You can find her all over. It's gross. <laughs> you got to try it. From what I've heard, you got to have a piece of bread. This is just what I've tried it, so I don't know. And it's got gluten in it, so I can't anyway. But um, as it says, wheat gluten on the front, so I'm out. Um, but you're supposed to have a piece of bread, toasted piece of bread, lots of butter or margarine or whatever floats your boat on there, and a very, very, very thin spread of the Vegemite. Now, I love a good salty. I love a good tangy, so I probably would like this. My gut feeling is telling me this sounds awesome, even though I hear everybody saying it's gross, but I also love black licorice, so I don't, my taste buds are a little wonky, I guess. And <laughs> everybody's like, still gross, it's all good. <laughs> I'm gonna try that. Yes, so Sarah Renee is the one who did the color cubes. She is the color cube lady. She's the one who gave me all of these awesome products. And uh, yeah, yeah, go check her out. She's got some cool things up her sleeve for the near future. And awesome. Yeah, so color cube lady. <laughs> but she does way more than just that. Okay, did I get all of my friends items? I think I got them all. These are all the fun stuff that I got from my buddies, my friends. Oh, amazing, amazing creatives. I will link all of them in my YouTube video. I will put their, I will tag them. Um, and Instagram, I will tag as many as I possibly can. So I'm going to have both of the videos up when we're on replay and when I repost, tagging everybody. I know I'm limited to a certain number of tags, so I'll, I'll also put links. All right, got to get the next bag out. There are so many bags here. It is awesome. Amazing people. And so many handmade things that they brought too, which I think is phenomenal. I mean, I handmade the design on my little survival kit, but I didn't hand make the items that went in it. But it's just, I don't know. It's like seeing, it's like going to a sorority. I was never in a sorority. Um, but it feels like it would be, if you had like a sorority party every year, you got together, like a re, it's a reunion once a year and we're all in the same crafty, crazy people. And crafty people are the best. I have to tell you what. See, black licorice and jelly beans. I'm all for that. I love a good black licorice and the salty black licorice too. I, I like the sweet, I like the salty. I have to be careful because sometimes they put gluten on them. So there's, but there's gluten-free black licorice and it's awesome. So my vice, licorice. <laughs> I, I love a good chocolate, but I have to be careful with chocolate too. But uh, yeah, that is my total vice, black licorice, man. Whew. Oh, I'm a sucker for that stuff. Oh my goodness. It's like passing out swaps. That's exactly what that is. Exactly, Susan. So yes, if you were ever in Girl Scouts and you did the swaps, it was like little pins that you handmade and they had stuff on them like you made it out of felt or ribbon or whatever. And it could have been, you know, like a, a rolled up sleeping bag was the, what your pin was or just something, something silly, right? Or made out of beads or something. That's exactly what this is. That's what the pins are. And that's what the little gifts that we give to everybody. It's exactly what that is. Yes. No black licorice for me. Oh, you're missing out. <laughs> I get it. It's either you love it or you hate it. I hate ketchup. So that's what most people love. I cannot stand ketchup. That's what it is. All right. Some of this stuff I'm just going to pull out because it's just too big to put on the table, but then we'll start doing the table. So every year, at least for the past three years, Pacific Art, Arc, sorry, Pacific Arc, Arc, <laughs> um, has been giving out t-shirts and they are the best t-shirts. They are so soft and they have the coolest things and they are they make the most amazing tools. And they were actually part of one of the events I went to that was for creative professionals. And I had to tell them because it was always when I was doing my live, they had this big wheel and they was like, hey, do you want a t-shirt? And I love their shirt shirts. I wear them, especially when I'm filming, if you ever see them. So this is my newest one I got. They actually gave me two. Um, I'm between sizes right now. I've lost a little bit of weight. And they the one that they had, this one is the, uh, this is the, or anyway, I, they gave me a 2XL and they gave me a large and I'm an XL. Um, but I, I was like, I'll take them both. And she handed me both. So I, this is one of them. The other one is somewhere. I think I wore it, but yeah, it's awesome. So I'll be wearing this probably during some of my filming. You'll see me with tool specific art, arc, 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 A-R-C. But it is the softest shirt. So that is one of the shirts I got. I got a second shirt. This one I got in the correct size. Because um, one of the events we went to, which was our axe throwing, if you saw any of my reels, there was a portion of it where we were at, and I was in my dress. <laughs> oh, and people have asked me, 
I was wearing a dress on the second day that we were on the showroom floor and it had a whole bunch of little crafty tools and it was like a giant rainbow. I posted the link for the dress on that video. That, that link I did get up. I didn't finish all the links for day two and day three. Day one's done. All the links, every, all the products, timestamps, the whole thing. Day two and day three, I still got to spend some time doing that. But Bob Ross was a sponsor and they had a tie dye Bob Ross. Look at that. Isn't that the most adorable thing? So I got my one for my daughter too because they had a ton of shirts left over um, and they were like, please take them. So I got, I brought one home for each of my kids. There was one that looks like it's Minecraft and pixelated. Uh, I brought that one home for my son, which I might steal every now and then. You might see me wearing that one. This one is the tie dye one. And then there was another one that was a light gray that was perfect for my son, Brandon. And then my daughter and I, she loves rainbow. She loves tie dye. And she wore this the next day at school after I gave it to her. Actually, all three of my kids <laughs> wore the shirts I brought home for them the very next day at school. Pretty cute. So we have, they, everybody got a Bob Ross shirt. All right, now I'm just gonna open up because there's just so much stuff. I'm just gonna start passing things out. So Craft Express, we did a demo with Craft Express where we did the DTF. And if you saw us, we were the most hilarious people in the world because we could not get it to work. <laughs> it had a lot to do with the humidity in the air, but this is the one that worked and I will be passing this along. And a lot of people, because we were in New Orleans, we had a lot of things going on that had to do with um, you know, Mardi Gras, Mardi Gras theme. And so this was the one that we did. It's also got a QR code on the back, but some lucky person's gonna get this in their bag. So that is, that. I'm keeping the shirts though. Um, we went through Acme and Acme again, so look for the seals, I'm gonna explain what this is. There's two different seals that you can see on products. And it basically says that it conforms to all the rules and regulations that are required. So for instance, your, your paint doesn't have lead in it. It doesn't have the stuff in it that's not supposed to have. It's been certified, it's been credited, and it is good. So the company is Acme, and there's AP and CL, depending on which type of material. So if you're looking for either of these symbols on there, that means that those products are A-OK, -okay and they're awesome. So they gave out this bag, which, here's a question. Does anybody else's kids, this is just for our middle school, elementary school, they can take a backpack, no problem. High school, they can take a backpack, no problem. Our middle school, however, and I think it's because there's just too many kids and for, they say that there's too many kids in the hallways and a backpack with all their stuff in it, it crowds the hallways more because it just creates almost like a second person on their back. So it's harder for the kids to get around. So all they're allowed to take with them is a sling bag. And if girls wanna have a purse, like a small purse, they can do that as well. But from class to class, it's a sling bag. Well, the sling bags that we seem to always get tear within two or three months. So as soon as I saw this was a sling bag, um, my son, he's about, he's in eighth grade. He's about to be done. We've got like eight weeks left of school, seven weeks left. It's got a giant hole in the bottom, but it's still, I'm like, can you last eight weeks? Are we good? My daughter's is on its last legs as well. So some, one of them is going to get this to finish out. Probably my son and then my daughter will use it next year. But it's nice, strong material. <laughs> so as soon as I saw the sling bag, I was like, oh, yes. So we're keeping this because we have to use it. Because, oh, my goodness, I don't want to buy a new sling bag the last seven weeks of school. That seems silly. So does anybody else have middle schoolers that are not allowed to bring, bring backpacks but have to bring a sling bag? Or is it just us? I don't know. Weird. Yeah, we do have, they do have lockers, but they have no time to go to their lockers. My high schoolers got a lot. All right, so lot, this this is this year's little goodie that they passed out to everybody. Oh, help heal that. I missed, oh gosh, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna come back to the, to the little chocolate. I missed a whole row. I, I tried my best to get to every single booth and inevitably I still could not. I, I felt I was everywhere I drive and I still didn't turn that corner and I missed a row somewhere. And I feel so horrible because there were so many companies I wanted to go see and I just, there was not enough time. I know some people say, well, where was everybody? It was a busy, busy show. It was the biggest show we had. And one of the companies literally was right around the corner from where I was, where I last filmed, my last spot filming was Arteza. And I went around the corner after that and I noticed while I was filming a different one, there was Help Heal Vets right there. And they're an amazing, amazing company. They are a supportive company. I just was looking at my my um, coin today. So I don't know who's on, but if Joe's on, hey, Joe. Um, if we all know that art therapy is absolutely amazing. You know, we, put the, we put crafts in our hands, we get our hands busy. It eases our mind from any of the trauma. 
whether it's trauma from being you know, at war or trauma dealing with grief or trauma dealing with a horrible incident in your life, you know, abuse, whatever it might be, and Help Heal Vet specifically caters for military veterans by getting arts and crafts in their hands to help them deal with their PTSD. So if you want to have an organization that is amazing, that is true art therapy and specifically for military veterans, which they all need, I mean, I'm a life of a 26 years in, um, support them. They are awesome. They're on Instagram right now. Huge shout out to Help Heal Vet. They're fantastic. And I still have my coin <laughs> right here in my drawer to remind me every day, you know, how much what we do in this arts and crafts industry makes a difference every day to every, like to just put some art in somebody's hands. Oh my goodness, it's amazing. So yeah, huge shout out to you guys. <laughs> okay, so I just happened to see him pop in. All right. Woo. So every year we have, um, oh, to everyone that donated to our, yes. Oh, at the very, very end, thank you for reminding me about that. So at the very end, there was a space and I did get a video of it. So it's gonna go in my large replay to talk about what that is they were collecting donations from all the booths that didn't want to take things back with them or who were just like, yep, let's donate some products. And so they had a space in the showroom floor where everybody was putting items, crafting items that they did not take back with them. They were donating to the Help Heal Vets. So I am curious how much you guys got because I went by 30 minutes after the showroom floor closed and there was a ton of stuff already there. And I cannot imagine. Hopefully you got some amazing, amazing products to take back. That's awesome, awesome, awesome. So. Oh, so many people on talking about how much art therapy helps. Yeah. So what's the name of the company that is the art therapy for veterans it's called Help Heal Vets. They're on Instagram, so I can't pull them up, but it's Help Heal Vets. So it's it's a great, great organization. Just do a little quickie search. I'm going to, because I shattered them out right now in the video, I will have them a link in the video. I just, I missed their booth. Arr. <laughs> Go figure. <laughs> Two full pallets worth of stuff. Oh my goodness, they got two full pallets worth of crafty supplies that they can then turn around and use it for art therapy for veterans. That is phenomenal. That is amazing, amazing, amazing. I love that. I love that. I love it. <laughs> okay, so back to the chocolates. <laughs> okay, so here we have these amazing chocolates right here. Um, so every year for the past couple of years, they've been announcing where the next location is because we move around. We're not always in the same location. And so this is a cherry, it's a chocolate covered cherry that's made out of Seattle. And so this was on a table after they announced it was like day, end of day two. And so you could pick up a couple. So I have a couple. And um, yeah, so these are ones that are made out there. Funny, funny story. I I'm full of stories today, let me tell you. My parents were from Canada. My parents live in Vancouver Island and they had some friends come down and join them. They're still at my parents' house. They actually have two houses, one in Georgia and one in Canada. And so Georgetown is not too far from me, 20 minute drive. And I'm going in the kitchen, we're having Easter dinner with their friends and all of us, we all came together for Easter and we did the confetti eggs in our hands, heads. And I'm seeing a package of these chocolates sitting on the counter <laughs> in my mom's kitchen. And I'm like, what in the world? And so her friends, cause they came through Seattle, they spent some time in Seattle before they came here. And they brought, they had bought this brand of chocolate covered cherries cause cherries are huge up there. Rainier cherries, beautiful cherries. You, it's the perfect growing location through Vancouver and Washington State all the way up into British Columbia. Beautiful, beautiful cherries. So this is one of the big companies that makes some chocolate covered cherries. So my mother had them <laughs> and then I got them too. But it was to announce that we were going to Seattle for next year. So for those that don't know, that's where we're going is we're going to Seattle for 2025. And the other cute thing, hang on, I gotta find it, I gotta find it. Since I'm talking about where we're going, buried in here somewhere oh come on make me a liar oh fudgers thought it would be super easy just to find it and pull it out oh here it is ah. so the last day of the show as we're leaving sorry itchy nose we had these little fish out here on a table and they're like the little stress fish which i thought was super smart so the fish for seattle because you know the fish market where they throw the fish does anybody have that remembrance i think it was Remember, okay, it was a, it's not road rules, but MTV had a show where it was, they all lived together. Um, and one of the seasons was in Seattle because this was the grunge era, right? Back in the 90s or mid 90s. So the, in, I remember vividly the intro to that season because they were in Seattle was the guy throwing the fish across the fish market. So hence the fish. And so on one side, it says 2025. And the other one, it says the location or so the date. So it's April 4th through 8th, 
of uh, 2025. That's when we're there. Um, so yeah, the real world, that's what it was called. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> I knew somebody would remember, it's like, it's not road rules, it's the other one, it's the real world. Reality, reality show television. <laughs> yes, it's in Pike Place and we're right down there. So this was another little nod to where we are this year. So I love how they encapsulate the location that we're at, but they're also giving a nod to where we're gonna go. So I cannot wait. They did one other thing at the show, which was they had a, for all the new booths that were brand new, and I believe there were 11 of them, nine of them, and I left it over there. I didn't finish it because I was so busy, but for each booth and for two of the booths I was working in, I helped stamp the cards because they were brand new booths, which was stencil one and it was uh, uniquely creative. And if you finished filling in your entire card, you went and turned it in. It was a chance to win a hotel for the next show, which was awesome, that's awesome. But everybody got a chance to turn that in and they got a $5 Starbucks card because what was started in Seattle was Starbucks. So it's another nod to Seattle, which I thought was awesome. Real fun. <laughs> okay, so let's take a look at some other fun stuff. Some of these things I'm gonna have to do. I got a hat. <laughs> Ta-da. <laughs> So paint puck, um, and it's got all the little paint puck things. I thought this was kind of fun. So they were passing out these hats. We were filming, and they were in Demo Alley, and so we got a paint puck hat. Rhonda got one, too. It felt weird to walk around with it all day, but it's kind of a fun hat. I don't mind it. A cute little bucket hat. This is a big nod back to, like, the early aughts. I remember these being huge back then, but fun hats, and I like the blue. I probably will wear that. All right. Ranger, I'm just going to flip my camera because there's too much stuff. Ranger was on. Um, the sh I took a class. I'm, I'm going to show this now because I use these little notebooks all the time. I gave Rhonda one because she didn't go to a Ranger class. This is supposed to be a class one, but I, I put it in here. And so as we were leaving one of the Ranger classes, they uh, passed these out. So it's just a little notebook. But I use notebooks all the time. I have one that I'm using right now from Erin Condren. And it's what I write, like my list in for the day. It's, it's my notes. I date them. So it's kind of like a planner. Like that's where I really do. So if I can go back and I have it, you know, as, as soon as I fill it out, I keep the I keep my little notebook and then I use it for the, I open up another one. So, you know, it's, it's just a nice little notebook. I love how it closes and it has a pen that goes with it. So I'm keeping this for one of my future notebooks that I use. It's, I'm a, I like to write. Sometimes I can't read what I wrote, but I got that. But as a heads up. I am not, I'm, I'm unboxing a lot today, but I'm not unboxing everything. So if you wanna see the rest of my unboxings from one of my exclusive events I got to go to because I was a certified, sorry, not certified, well, I am certified, um, no, as a creative professional CP, and also all of the products I got from all the classes I attended, and I went to a ton of classes, so I got some cool stuff I can show you. Um, that is gonna be a video that's going up on Friday for my members only. So if you wanna see that unboxing, you gotta come a member, plus, some of the goodies like this next one dina wakely had some fun little postcards when we were she was doing her demo i'm giving swag bags away to all of my silver and glitter members so my top two tiers you're going to get some fun swag bags because there's so much stuff here i cannot keep it all and i would love to pass it forward to all of my amazing crafty friends so become a member and that's just small of the perks that you get as being a member there's a lot of fun perks for being a member all right what else we got Oh, one of my other booths I was working in is a crafter's workshop. Oh my goodness. Do you think I'm going to be giving some stencils away? Of course, of course, of course. <laughs> so I got, I already have these, so I don't need to keep another one. Oh, that's a bad color to show you. Mm. Let's go orange. I'm just going to put a piece of paper down so you can see them. So look, look at these fun stencils. I need to make sure I have every single one of these, but I'm pretty sure, which means every single one of these stencils is going to be going into. A goodie bag so be aware they are coming and i have more this i just grabbed a few i just grabbed a few look 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 how awesome some of these are from their top 50 and some of these are from their new release and some of these also were ones i was using on the showroom floor so if you get one and you're like oh she gave me one of her old ones no this is what i was demoing with while i was in the booth and she gave me all the ones i demoed with so that's why it's used, but guess what? Stencils are not like they one-time use. You get to use them over and over, just clean them. And we cleaned them as best as we could, but we were on the showroom floor and we couldn't go wash them right away. So I'm just showing you all of these awesomeness. And some of these are repeated. Have you noticed like that one's the ones I already, they are gently loved, yes, but 
they made their way all the way from creativation and they were wonderfully used. So you get the real deal from there <laughs> that I used while I was demoing. <laughs> See, so there's, so I, I, look, I have like three of these, right? I don't need to keep all. You guys need them. So become a member and you can get one. And like I said, there's, there's probably enough for everybody. Um, and I will have to say a huge shout out because, oh my goodness, I went over 50 members. I cannot believe that. So we are going to do a video of even more unboxing goodness. Stencils are amazing. I love stencils. Stencils are awesome. And then I also have some of the layered stencils. This one's a mushroom one. No, that bag is in the way. But look, this is like this is a clean one. This is the one I was demoing with. So like I have two of the mushroom ones. I just got to find live tested for quality control. Yes. <laughs> Here's the lemon one. And I'm going to be doing some videos on these soon. Here's another one. Look at thankful hello. This one's balloons, really cute balloons. Here's another one. It says, uh, happy day, congrats. Oops, 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 oops. This is one that, um, I think sunflowers, I believe it was. Here's the dragonfly within the flowers. And then these are repeats. These are the ones I actually use. So again, don't be like, oh my gosh, you gave me a gross one. No, I was using it on the showroom floor. And like they're not even in stores yet. So you might get them before everybody else gets them in their, their little paws on them. So yeah, loads of stencils and there's more. This wasn't all of them. Yeah, so yeah, become a member. You're gonna probably get one of these in your stash. Just wait till I get to the rest of the stuff. Oh my goodness, you guys are like, we're not even done. Now, one of the other companies I was demoing with, I demoed with two stencil companies. One of them was Crafters Workshop and the other one was Stencil One. And they are so completely different. Everybody's like, oh, it's a stencil company. I'm like, is there gonna be a conflict? But how, like, it's amazing, like a stamp company, right? I love, and I love working for many, many stamp companies. And yeah, they all make stamps, but they're so totally different. The vibe of the company is very different. You know, I work with Sizzix, but I work with Catherine Fuller, and yeah, they're working together. But, you know, like, it's just, they're all very, very different. You know, Eileen, she works with Sizzix and what she creates is very different, even though it's a die or a stencil or a stamp, is very different than Catherine Pooler. So, <laughs> you know, working with two different stencil companies, as long as I'm not like using them, like, anyway, moot point. His stencils are amazing. So Ed is, his name is Ed Roth. He's been in the industry for over 20 years. He's based out of New York and I was demoing in his booth and he's got the coolest stencils that can go on your face to do like with face paint. So with kids' parties and stuff, you got to check out. We did a video specifically on his booth, and I left it in my bedroom, of course. But he brought jean jackets, so stenciling on fabric. And we were doing it on denim squares. They're super cute. Rhonda took one. So if you go watch Rhonda's unboxing, she's got one of the denim squares. And we they were all to do with Mardi Gras. So we had, like, the... Oh, the fleur de lis, and he had the like the different masks. It was phenomenal. I did not take one of those, but we got a jean jacket because we were doing stenciling. And so he let me bring home um, some of the paint we were working with, which is the set of color paint from Pebio. And I brought home the other two colors. I did it because we did it in teal. Of course, I had to do it in teal, right? Um, but I'm going to do another two in purple and in blue. And his stencils are so cool that as you pull them apart. Like this actually had a whole other one and they're layered stencils. So this butterfly and this butterfly go together. This one and this one. Oh, you can't see that. Go back to my piece of paper. They go together. So you do the background first, which I did in the color. And then you do the top layer, which I did in black. And I did it on my jean jacket, but I didn't get a chance to finish it because it was, oh my gosh, time went like, like that every single day. I could not believe we were done. And so I'm going to bring it home and I'm going to finish it probably on a video or something. And um, that video, how I did that jacket is actually coming up. It's a short reel of what I did, but I didn't get a chance to finish it. But these little guys pop apart. So you have a full sheet. I'm not going to do it right now because I don't want to lose them. But these pop apart. I'll do one. See, they just pop apart. So you have individual stencils and therefore they don't take a lot of space. You can also, the little triangles is how you line them up. They're inversely, but it's such a cool way to do stuff. So he had some really, really cool designs. And the designs he's got for his stencils are totally different than what I've seen in some of the other ones. It's very um, fun and funky and almost like if you were going to do spray paint on something and just very, very different vibe. Um, street is the best way I can describe it. And I love that. And he's got such a different outlook of how to look at stencils and what to use them for than just putting it on paper or a card. And I, that's 
I mean, even uni uniquely creative, she has stencils too. I and mean, I'm giving away some of the stencils that she made. Everybody's stencils are very different. And I love that. So yeah, that's, it's a really, really cool company. So I brought home the finish my jacket. This is mine. I'm not giving that away. Sorry. <laughs> I want to finish my jacket. So Lindy's was another fun company that we went by. It was one of the last ones um, that we videoed and I'm actually going to pull, I've been pulling, this is a heads up because some of my videos are super, super long as I'm walking into the showroom floor and you might have missed that little company because you were speeding along or you zoned out. I mean, they're long videos. One of them is almost three and a half hours long for the last day. So I've been pulling out the snippets for each individual brand and kind of creating their own individual videos. Lindy's was one that I'm going to be doing in the future, but I have video content that hasn't even been shown on the live. So don't be like, oh, she's just showing us the same stuff. Oh, no, there's way more coming. <laughs> Believe me, I haven't even downloaded it from my camera yet. <laughs> it's coming. <laughs> so fingers crossed all the video footage turned out OK. <laughs> I haven't even looked. <laughs> That's what Rhonda was helping me with. But Lindy's was there and oh my goodness, it was so, so amazing. So these are some of her wonderful sprays. This is um, Beauty School Dropout. That's what this line is right here. And you add water. I'm gonna follow the directions. That was one of the big things that they said. I am keeping these ones for myself because I don't have any. Um, but yeah, talking about how to fill them to make sure you don't shake them, use warm water. But yeah, awesome, awesome stuff. So I cannot wait to play with these. Uh, don't forget to get some sleep. Yes, I will get sleep. I've been sleeping. Don't worry. Don't worry. Um, okay, what else? Oh, at Craft Express, this is that little tape measure thing that you can use around your tumblers. And so that way when you can measure what the width of your tumbler is if you're wanting. So pretend this is a tumbler. I know it's not. This is the, this is the saran wrap I use for my letter. And then you can go whoosh, and suck it in. And then you know what the size is for that dimension. So this one is eight inches all the way around. I wouldn't have thought that would have been that big. And then you can pop this little thing out and there it is. And then you can suck it all in. And we were joking in this. <laughs> After we were, it's an awesome little tape measure. After we were done, I was like, I wonder if you can measure my bicep. And I didn't do it on the live because we were being hands on live. You got to go back and watch the Craft Express live. We were hilarious. And I kept thinking, am I being like too snarky with them, too sarcastic? And he just played right along and fed right into it. Like we had a blast. It was so much fun. Um, but he pulled this out and I was like, you should measure my arm. And I was going to measure his arm. And we just, anyway, we didn't do that during the live. It was going through my head at that time. But that's what I was thinking, just like a sneak peek in my head as we were being goofy was, yeah, measure my thigh. <laughs> Don't measure my waist. <laughs> you don't want to know that number. I'm like, who's stronger? Who's got the bigger biceps? That's where I was going with that in my head. So that's what I remember when I pick up this thing right now. <laughs> but super, super amazing way to measure circumference of something, you know. And yeah, it's perfect. All right. Other fun things. Pepio, I got a little notebook. Um, Sakura, I got a little notebook. <laughs> Not to shout out Rhonda. Totally shouting out Rhonda. We did our best because we had one bag. If you notice while I was walking around doing the lives, I had a bag. It was usually this purple bag. So this is the purple bag that I was carrying around. And I have a few of them for extra goodie bags I'm passing out. So some of you might get the purple bag. And if a company handed me something, I would drop it in the purple bag. And then Rhonda was holding the camera while we were walking around going live. And so if she got given something or she grabbed something because she had a backpack that had like the extra cabling and all the extra you know stuff or water bottles were in there. So that way I can move around without bumping into people with a backpack, which was great. It was such a, a nice change not to feel like a pack mule the entire time while I'm filming because there's a lot of gear we have to bring. And we did our best to like sort through things. And I, I know I got a couple of things like um, Sarah Renee Clark from Australia gave us both the goodie bags of things from Australia with the Vegemite and the Tim Tams. I got hers by accident. And she got, I think, because I can't seem to find it yet, or it could still be here. I think she got my little baggie from Sakura, it was like a little zipper pouch that had some pens in it. I don't need it, um, but it had some other things in there. So if you wanna see the little pouch that was given to us, and I think she gave it to us while we were live doing our footage of Sakura, which is the jelly rolls, it's the pens, the clickable pens, the UV pens, awesome, awesome pens. Um, we're gonna get to the bag of pens shortly. There's a whole bag, just two full bags of pens that we're gonna get to. Um, she has the zipper pouch that you can take a look at to unbox that. So she's got that little zipper pouch there, but it was, it was fun. Yeah. So Sakura was there. I did get this little notebook though. Isn't this cute? 
one of these notebooks was in there as well. So I know, but that was an ex like she gave us an extra one. Yeah. You kept forgetting. My, no, I didn't keep forgetting my purple bag. Um, for those of you, like, you're right. I kept saying, I'm going to go get my purple bag while I was live. I put it down on purpose. So as I was walking around the booth, you didn't see me holding it. I put it down on purpose. But before I went to the next booth, I was saying out loud to myself, don't forget the bag and leave it behind because I have done that in previous shows. So I was kind of saying it out loud as a mental note to myself, don't forget my purple bag because people had been giving me product and I didn't want to for, for doing this, exactly this and to give away to you guys. And I didn't want to leave it behind. So I was saying out loud what I was trying to remember to do. It was, it's a fun little trick I try to do. Anyway, that's why I kept saying, don't forget the purple bag. <laughs> So I wouldn't forget the purple bag. <laughs> and then I kept putting my water bottle down. Yes. <laughs> Which, okay. At one point, I did lose my water bottle. And you might have heard it in the background of me and the Simon Hurley going, I lost my water bottle. I don't know where I went. And Rhonda's holding the camera. I try when there's a big demo going on and they're doing lots of talking. I back off and let them do their thing and only ask questions if I'm like, I see a question on the camera while we're live. Or if I legit have a question. Or what's the new product if they haven't mentioned it yet, right? But if they're in their groove, I try to back off and say nothing as best as I can. I'm itching to ask them all kinds of questions, but I know you want to hear them and not me. So believe me, I wish I, I could talk till the cows come home. But um, I'm digging around in the backpack while she's filming. I turned my mic off so you wouldn't hear in the background. And I'm hunting for my water bottle and I can't find it anywhere. And that was the, we had just done a video with Vic and we had gone over and done like resin, the UV resin. And we had done a thing with Catherine Pooler. Like we had done a bunch of other, I'm like, where the heck am I? So she's there filming and I'm running around while the live is happening. You guys are not seeing this because she's filming the demo and I'm running around trying to find my water bottle, catch back up with her. We get over and we do the Sizzix demo where they're doing the big stamp and spin, which is an awesome product. Um, and she goes, here it is. It was in the backpack the entire time. I just missed it because I didn't want to jostle her around trying to find, but I was so parched at that moment. Anyway, fun little behind the scenes note about what was happening there. You saw none of that because she's filming Simon Hurley. <laughs> and so it looks seamless. It looks totally seamless. And in the background, I'm going, ah, I need water <laughs> because I'm talking and talking and talking. Oh, yeah, yeah. Fun things behind the show. <laughs> Oh, and thank you. I was doing my best to try. I'm sorry. I keep flipping back and forth. I was doing it while I'm pulling stuff out. My best to try and um, have better sound. And so, yeah, I had a mic on me the entire time, which is right here. Same mic I'm using now. And then I had the extra mic that I would take over. And I know it seemed kind of weird, but it definitely made the sound quality better. Even if it was just on the table in front of them, it sounded way clearer versus when I just had the phone with no mic. So thank you for all of you that noticed it. I, I've heard, you know, I put some thought into the quality of what was happening. I got a different gimbal, which the first day was a mess. Sorry about that, um, but we got we fixed it for day two and day three. Um, but yeah, the mics made a huge difference. So they are now a mainstay, and I, and I decided to get the good ones, the better, better ones. We got Rode mics to make everything better. Um, yeah, the extra mic made the difference for sure, for sure. And I didn't realize how much it made a difference until partway through day one when somebody said it's hard to hear and I was like I got the extra mic let's pull it out but when I was testing it at home because there's no extra ambient noise and the, the show floor got louder and louder that's when I realized holy crap it's very hard to hear and you guys were mentioning it so out the second mic came and I just did that from then on out anytime somebody else was talking besides me the mic was on them or they were wearing it sometimes they clipped it to themselves or they held it so it was funny I was holding it out not intending for them to grab it and hold it. And a few people did. I was like, all right, my job's easy. I'll just stand here. It was great. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I totally got my bag searched by TSA. That's actually in here. In my TSA, I, I got searched. I got searched, people. <laughs> Sorry, Rhonda's saying that she got searched. I got searched too. I don't think they took anything unless they took those pins. <laughs> that little Sakura bag. But yeah, I got searched. So. I got used top. So what did they search in your bag? Cause they, I, every time I've come home from a craft show, cause I've got so much stuff. I think it's the pens. I don't know. Um, I always get searched. Only one of my bags did my big, big bag, my big bag. I call it big blue, but yeah, I put this in here to show you. I got searched <laughs> and Rhonda did too. Oh my goodness. And I, I think sometimes they've taken things. I don't know. 
I don't know. All right, so another little notepad. Here's another one. This one is from newleafpaper.com, and it talks about the North American endangered trees here. So this is the American chestnut saying that it is endangered, but I love it. Little green notes. All right, so what are some other stuff? Oh, we also got, Rhonda got one too. We got the slice. This is that ceramic blade cutter. So I am definitely keeping that one. And um, we also did coasters with crafters. This is from Maker Float. Sorry, wrong company. Two different, um, two different sublimation companies. Maker Flow was there and then Craft Exhibition. And there was another one there as well that also had, and I, I missed them. Um, but I did this live on the video where we made this coaster. So this is going to go to somebody. That's going to be in the in the mix. Oh, this is the watercolor I need to give my mother. And she already asked, where is it? Why don't I have it yet? Um, I know when I go through TSA, my Copic markers or Tombows always get a re-review. How funny. And I did have, I didn't have Tombows, but I have other markers. So yeah, it's just, you never know. You never know. Probably saw the ink. Yeah, I had ink too. Um, I had all kinds of stuff in there. I mean, you guys are seeing what I had in there. So you never know. So my mother's already wanting this. We, she grew up in Regina, just outside of Regina in Esalen, and elevators and the prairie skies. And so in one of the booths, this was the stone ground paint, and it's watercolor paints, and they also have gouache paint as well. And he did this live while we were there, and so I need to give this to her now, and he even signed it. But he grew up in Regina, where my parents grew up, and where most of my family still lives. So yeah, I got this fun baby from them. I love that. Um, and one of our other roommates took a watercolor class as a class from them. So that's awesome. I'm, gonna, I'm putting this aside to make sure I give it to my mother. So I'm putting it in a different spot so she will get it the next time I see her. All right. This was the card that I made while we were on um, live. And this was in the Spellbinders. And we did the little, the seals and then also other beautiful die cuts. And we did get a little sneak peek while we were walking around of one of their newest products which is a embossing and die cutting combo thing. And it's really, really cool. I cannot wait to see that hit the market. That's gonna be awesome. But I'm gonna put the card into somebody's baggie. So you're gonna get my handmade card. More stickers, lots of stickers, lots and lots of beads. Oh my goodness, so many beads. And these are gonna be going to everybody. Beads are coming to all of you. We got beads given to us all over. It was awesome. These ones I am keeping. These ones we got while we were doing, and I'm not gonna, Oh, another thing, something, and I didn't realize this until after I went back and I watched all the videos. I tried to get snippets of videos while we were live. But one of the things um, I noticed, <laughs> I was wearing beads on the showroom floor for a few of the days. I think the beads, because I wear my mic literally snapped to my bra, like it's right here, but you can't see it, but it's the perfect distance from my mouth on my bra. And the beads were right here. So every now and then, I think the beads were going clink, 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 clink. And if so, if you hear kind of a crackling noise, I think it's coming from the beads. <laughs> and it didn't dawn on me when I was wearing the beads that it might affect the mic. So I'm so, so sorry about that. <laughs> um, but one of the other fun ones, oh no, it didn't die. Oh, it must've gotten hit in my bag. These lit up. Um, I probably could replace the battery on this. But yeah, we got these when we went to our pre president's reception. They gave everybody one of these. Um, and they lit up and they would go. So all of us were sparkling and having a blast. So yeah, this was our special one we got for going to that, that event, that president's reception event. That was fun. So those were there. Let's see what else we got. Lots of fun stuff. Yeah. So, the, oh, it's right. Rhonda was saying on this painting here, he never signs his names on his paintings. The fact that he did this um, was kind of, was really special. And it's like from where, where my parents grew up. You know, this is like the, a, a picture of watercolor of their home. And seeing him do this on, on this, I don't hold anything back. I am TMI all over the place. <laughs> I can't help it. <laughs> I'm telling you the real. This is who I am. <laughs> all right. Diamond art was another fun one that we walked into. There was two different booths that had, quote unquote, diamond art dots, sticky dots that you stick to stuff. And there's two kits. My mother loves diamond art. These are stickers. So is my daughter. Because these are stickers, though, I think I'm going to give them to my daughter because she loves doing this stuff. And my mom, she likes doing the big things. Um, but we got a few of these kits. So some of you are going to get a kit. So there you go. Kits coming your way. What else we got? Oh, these are for me. We I demoed these on the very first uh, when I was the second day. Um, these are Crafters Workshop. They're new stencil brushes. 
Oh, these are so awesome. And she gave me a few because you have to have a few for different color families that you're going to be ink blending with. So I cannot wait to use these. These are going to be awesome. I believe I have enough just to get through Roy G. Biv. Red, orange, yellow, R O Y G B I V. And then I have enough for a black and then a couple other like teal or maybe like a light blue and a dark blue. So um, yeah, I'm going to be so excited with this one. What booth had the diamond that you could do with pet picture? Oh, I haven't done that video yet, and I don't remember the name of it, but um, there was a booth Rhonda went over while I was demoing one time, and she got a few different demos. One is Eileen that's coming. One is the showroom, all uh, the new product showcase. That's another video coming. And Rhonda also got a video of the person that had, like, you could take a picture, and it turned into, like, um, paint by number. Um, so... That video is coming too, and I do not remember it off the top of my head, but that video is coming. Uh, Ron, did you remember that one? Uh, shout out if you remember that name of that booth. I don't remember. Oh. Okay, what else we got? I have more bags here. This is just the beginning. This is, oh, they puffed up from being in the, in the this is the air dry clay, and the little things puffed up from being in the airplane. <laughs> That's funny. They're all like, poof. <laughs> But this was one of those companies that had a bunch of little kids crafts coming in. And this is called OKRO. And they were in Dental Alley, but they just, my daughter loves air dry clay. So I grabbed a few colors for her because she was, and I also grabbed her purple. She was super excited about that. Um, this was a company, uh, Rhonda found this and I asked if I could have one. This is um, MT masking tape. Uh, this is Kamoi Washi Adhesive Tape. This is the originators of Washi Tape. This is this company. They were the first ones to kind of come out with it. If I'm correct, Rhonda's the one who talked with them. And I thought I would just do a quick shout out. But they had a whole bunch. And she walked around while I was demoing, doing videos and doing some other stuff. But that was one of the things that she did. I also got some E6000 Fabrifuse. Um, speaking of glue, Beacon Adhesives, which I briefly chatted with. And they're the ones I used. I have it right here. So I'm going to show you. I used their felt glue for my for my letter i had the big letter r and i did felt flowers on my letter and i used their felt glue and so i briefly chatted with them we were so busy though and then i came back around and they tore their booth apart but they gave me some glue to bring home and so i'm going to pass these little glue tubes along to you guys we have gem tack and we have some zip dry and we have some fabric tack those are the little little ones so those are going to be passed out to people and vegan glue is awesome they had a really, really cute booth. They haven't been at the show for a couple of years, so I'm very glad they came back. One of the nights also where we had our beads that were all lit up, which was the president's reception, and I showed this very briefly in our reel. And if you've ever seen a wedding reception and people are walking down the, the streets or they're doing any kind of parade, you always see this. They're, they're, they're waving, you can't see it, but they're waving like a hanky in the air. And so while we were at the prison, that looks really funny, just with no music, pretend there's music <laughs> and I'm waving the hanky in the air. Um, so they had the the band made these, which I thought was awesome. And they put the, the Fleur de Lis on there and they put glitter on the white hankies and they put what it was and where we were. So 32524 New Orleans and our organization of Nanta. So they passed these out to a bunch of people and I got one and we were part of the parade while they were praying like at our reception. I got a brief video of this on one of my reels and I have some more coming in my long video of them editing of everything that's happening. So you're getting some of the stories. There's more stories coming. Um, but yeah, so I brought that home. So because that was from that fun night. It was really fun. That was, that was a cool night. All right, what else is in here? Oh, I got to go to a sneak, sneak peek party that Sizzix invited me to and it was only for a few people. And it's of a launch between Sizzix and uh, Royal Talents. And so it's a big collaboration. And can you guess the theme of what the collaboration is all about, which I love it. And so they had these little goodies and they had an open bar and they had some little hors d'oeuvres and stuff. And then this little fish. So guess the theme of what's to come. Everything was very nautical. Uh, there's gonna be more, I'm gonna talk about that down the line, but that collaboration between Royal Talons and Sizzix is gonna be coming. I gave a quick snapshot in one of my reels. Um, so you have to go and if you're like, what is this picture? Or what is she showing this video of? It's coming. It's a really cool new collaboration between the two companies. And so we got to go to kind of like the soft launch party of them revealing it to the public for the first time. And yeah, it was, it was gonna be lots of fun. That's also where you saw maybe a quick picture of all of us holding like blow up 
um, lobsters and clams. And I had the two girls from Cherry on Top and Taylor from Sizzix and myself. And, you know, we were all being goofy in front of like a big, like, it was like a, a selfie wall kind of a thing. But that was, that was from that event, which is pretty cool. All right. Got to put this bag away now so I can bring out the next bag. <laughs> now, you guys said you wanted to see pens, right? <laughs> Let's see some pens. Ooh. The bag, it, it's, there's still more bags I haven't gotten to. We're not even done. This is just fun stuff as I was walking around, you know. Oh, I need to put that back. I don't get that lost. I'll give it to my mother. For my kids and things. Some of these came from specific events, like I said. But you, you've heard it. Oh, I'm leaving this out too. But some of these things I'm leaving out because I don't want to put them back in here. Um, but I'm going to give, I did grab an extra fish. So one of you is getting a fish, but I'm keeping one of my fish. I'm not going to throw it because it's going to hit the camera. <laughs> I had a fantastic time. I did. I always have a blast when I go to these events because how can you not? Okay, I already did that bag. I got to find a bag I haven't done yet. It's it's really easy. not hard to find a bag I haven't done yet. All right. Sakura. Sakura is another amazing company. One of you is going to get this lovely tote bag. If you are a silver or a glitter member, let's just take a look at all the fun stuff. Use it for everything, not just fabric. Yes. Yes, the, the, the fabric tack, all the glues. Fabric tack is awesome. Hey, Tiffany. Hello. There are so many of you that are on right now. I am trying to like see what you are saying and trying to um, answer questions. I'm sorry if I don't shout out your name, but I see Nerdy Crafter on. I gave you a big giant hug and it was her first time. I think it was your first time at the show. And oh, I got to give her a really big shout out. So she was hanging out in the Pear Blossom Press booth and she was doing demos and make and takes and helping out with Amanda with uh, all of her light up stuff for Pear Blossom Press. And so I came into the booth, we were doing the video and we were doing the little blowout light thing. And then Amanda says, have you ever, I know, okay, let me finish this story and then I'll tell you the second story. And so we're doing the blowout light. Amanda asked, have you seen her new tape, her new foam tape that releases really wonderfully, but then becomes permanent after it sits for 24 hours, which I think is phenomenal. I love the ease of being able to, and I'm not watching because I'm listening to Amanda. The next thing I know, Amanda has a piece of paper in her hand with the foam tape on it so she can demonstrate for the camera. Guess who on the fly, and I saw this on replay, got that together in three seconds, thinking ahead that, oh, she needs to have this. Yep, right there, Nerdy Crafter. <laughs> I'm, count I'm shouting out your screen name because I don't want to know if you put out your full name, so that's why I don't, anyway. So yeah, she, um, she was one step ahead of the of the live that we were doing and everything the so she was demoing and talking she was one step ahead and ready she had the card flipped open showing everything you were on point girl you were amazing thank you so much for making that interview seamless it's like you preempted and envisioned where we were going next in that interview and you were like i got this bam here it is so spot on i loved it loved it <laughs> and i didn't even catch it while we were doing it it was only after i watched the replay you were amazing 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 so jelly roll or sakura sakura is the parent company but they create jelly roll i love my jelly roll pens they are fabulous and i think i have another jelly roll pen no i think this is it so we got a cup look at this awesome cup I love my tumblers. And I'm guessing this is one that's going to be hot or cold. And so I have the new Jelly Roll retractable cup. Um, this is the little pencil pouch that I believe Rhonda got, which is fine because we have the same pens. And then there was also a little notebook. And so these are some of their new products. So she gave me some that haven't even been released, released yet. So we have the new UV light. So I'm going to be playing with these. We also have the original ink gel. So these ones are the retractable ones. So here's as retractable. And these are the ones that have a little bit of a shimmer. They have not been released. And she gave me two packs that have the little shimmeries in them. Look at that. Sorry, these are mine. <laughs> um, but the ones that have been out for a little while, so these are the Stardust. This is coming out soon. This is another one she handed me on the slice. So you didn't see it here, but look how amazing. So they're coming out. I love retractable pens. These are go-tos. So these are some of the sets that are going to be coming out. And I asked her while we were there, I was like, are there going to be more colors? She's like, are, are you like, it was funny. I would kept asking questions that people like, are you seeing what we're doing behind the scenes? I'm like, no, I'm like, I'm just assuming you're going to come out with a rainbow set because that makes logical sense. 
you got retractables, you put out all kinds of colors. So, yeah, that's coming. To, anyway, it was just funny. So yes, there's going to be more colors coming soon. So check all of your places where you can pick up your pens. You know, uh, Walmart, Target, they all have them. But I love my jelly rolls. They're so awesome. And they're just a nice feeling pen. And I love the clickableness of them. And the UV light pens. I've heard a few people mention in some of the videos. And you're hearing one of my top trends. I'm, I noticed that was at the showroom floor. But that's a whole other video, my trending video. That's going to be coming. Um, why, why UV? You can't see it. You can't do anything with it. And, um, and especially for pens, like you write something and then you can't see until you put the UV light. And all, I mean, this is where my brain went. When I was in middle school, and even early high school, we wrote notes to each other. So to me, it's like the secret note society. So like you're writing and then the who doesn't want to see it, you pass it to your friend. Just think of the cards or the notes you could write to somebody else that knows you write in UV. You could be mailing fun secrets back and forth. Like my brain's going to total, total like childhood. My daughter's in middle school right now. So of course my brain's thinking all the middle school vibes, but yeah, that could be total, so much fun, <laughs> you know. Just your, your little journal you don't want anybody reading. <laughs> you gotta have the pen. Nobody would know. Nobody would know. <laughs> Shh. <laughs> but it's just something else fun. I mean, why not, right? They have the technology to do it. Why not? There's, you know, or you do big art that you were able to display and it's got black light. So it's just, it's just another fun thing. Why do we have more than just black and blue pens? Why do we have all the colors? Because it's fun is the bottom line. All right, so that came from Sakura. <laughs> Just wait, there's more pens. Let me get the other, let me get the big pen bag. <laughs> You're gonna love this one. This one's big. <laughs> this thing's huge. Oh my goodness. Um, oh, AI protection. I didn't even think about that. AI protection, why have UV pens? I just think it's fun. You know, why not? But yes, I, I probably that too. All right, so every year, I get all the stuff. And for the past couple of years, and I'm going to be passing a lot of these out, I go up to Marvy Yukuda, and Lawrence is amazing. He's the CEO of Marvy. And I say, and, and I'm just going to, I'm just pulling these out. You guys can see. Just, just look, just look. I'm never going to get these all back in here, but just look. <laughs> now, there's a real reason. And I also got a couple of Poscas. Um, and they also gave me a couple of paints. So these came from one of the other companies. Um, but the real reason why I have all these pens is I recently did a huge de-stash on my craft workroom, which is where I keep a lot of the companies. Some of the companies are no longer in business. They no longer carry those products. So if I have no, if I'm using them online, I'm like, oh my gosh, where did you get that product? I can't do anything about it. I can't show that. And heads up, thank you so much, Betty Penny. You're awesome. You did not need to do that. but. Huge shout out to you. You are awesome. She just gave me a little, a little super chat bonus. Awesome, awesome. So I ran into Lawrence from Marvi Yakuda. Anyway, so I, I purged my room and I specifically contacted my daughter's uh, school, arts, since she's taking art this year. And I said, would you want to have extra art supplies? I have paints, I have pens, I have paper, I have stickers, I have surfaces, I have all kinds of stuff. I have mixed media, I have all kinds of things. She's like, oh my God, yes. There has been budget cut beyond budget cut from beyond budget cut. And we don't live like we're in the suburbs. We're not super well off, but we're not super poor. But the way that our state works is that if you're making, if your district has more money than a neighboring district, some of the money that your district has goes to a district that doesn't have enough. It's called the Robin Hood Act. So those wealthy, wealthy districts with the multi, multi million dollar homes um, feed districts that don't have enough money to make everybody a little bit more balanced. Sounds great. This was the first year our district, for what it, like there's a magic number that they know of, but our district went from getting money from the Robin Hood Act to giving away money. So we had so many programs that got cut this year, and art supplies were a big one. And so I talked to Lawrence from Marvi Yukuda, and I said, I would love, and not every single pen, because I'm going to give a few of these pens away to those that have the silver and the glitter memberships. So you might get one or two. Um, but I would love to give some of these pens to our art teachers in our school district. And he said here, and so what they are, just to show you, so that's where a lot of these are going. Um, what these are, so if you only get one of these, you're like, holy crap, she got so many pens. Because they are going into future artists' hands. And I would, anything I can do 
to support young artists, I'm going to do that. So these were all of the pens, including this, all of these, from, and these are from a different company, but um, all of these pens are ones that they used on the showroom floor. So they cannot sell them now. They were gonna throw them away. And I'm like, holy crap, don't throw these away. Ah. So they opened up and they demoed with these. So they've been gently used. The seals have been broken. They've already been primed. Actually, this one has not even been primed. They just had it on the showroom floor. And nope, it's not too late to join. You can still become a member. Absolutely, glitter and silver members get stuff. Now again, I am not gonna give every single one of these away because these are going to um, our school. And so I brought home some other supplies specifically to give and to donate. And that's what I do with a lot of my stuff is I will donate them to causes. We have a couple of different organizations in Austin, because that's where I live, where I will donate the supplies to art schools, to art, after school art programs, to uh, a resale shop that that money goes towards uh, funding for other things. Like we have an art resale shop here in Austin. It's really cool. So I will constantly, as it comes, I get new supplies in all the time from these amazing companies and I create with them. But again, sometimes I don't work with the company anymore or I have duplicates. I love to pass them on to my members. You guys are, are always going to be getting stuff from me. But I also want to support young artists and give them the opportunity to play with something that they may not have gotten their hands on before because they could be the next amazing artist. So that is what I love to do. So this is where some of these pens are going. Not all of them, but a good chunk of them are going to be going. So yeah, these are going to go there. But to you guys too. So just to show you, amazing, amazing, amazing. We have... Some of these are the caps. Okay, so here we have a deco color acrylic paint marker. This one is in black. We have, here's a chalk marker, a bistro chalk marker. We have a calligraphy marker from deco color. We have, I love Le Pens. These are my favorite, the Le Pens. Um, here we have a fine line color, opaque paint markers. I'm just, here's a paint remover. <laughs> um, Oh my God, here's a Marview calligraphy. There, there's so many. Here's the Posca you know, paint. Um, so he saw, because this is the other funny story. So Lawrence and I, you know, we had already had this conversation. So he's going to be looking for me next year to give them, keep passing this forward because they get used up. This is not something that you get once and you're good. Like a stencil you can give and use it. You can use it. Pens dry up. Paint dries up. So you have to keep replenishing it. So um, <laughs> I asked him before the even show floor opened. I was like, hey, you know, you gave it to me last year. Do you? can you give me these pens again this year? And he's like, absolutely, because I don't know what else to do with them. I'm like, perfect, I'm your girl. So he and I, he's hunting for me with this bag, <laughs> and he's like, where's Aaron, where's Aaron? He finds me, and then he finds me four more times with another little cup. Like, he comes in with a cup full of pens. He's like, I got more pens for you. So I open the bag, and I'm dumping them in, and I'm talking with Posca, and he's dumping more pens in my bag, and then they come in, they're like, here, take some more stuff too, and I tell them what I'm using it for. So <laughs> it was just funny. It was, it was kind of funny. And I found another, because they're clearing out their booth, they're tearing their booth down. And that's where they're finding the other little cup of pens they were using for demoing or for, for sampling or for letting people try what that marker or that pen does. So that's where this stuff came from. Ay, ay, ay. <laughs> so you can see all the amazing pens. I mean, I can't believe he gave me a whole container. That's awesome. So these ones are permanent opaque fine tip paint markers, a glossy oil-based paint marker. So yeah, just look at them all. So many, so many. And are gonna go to some young artist hands. So I, and to you guys, you guys are gonna get some too. But hands down, and this is because I love to doodle in my art journal. These are my fave, fave, fave. I love Le Pen, they're so much fun. And they're so pretty. These are my favorite. I already have like one of every color, but, and I have my little jar over there, but yeah. I might go through and make sure I don't have any replicas of my colors or whatever, but I love my Le Pen. And I cannot believe it, but there are some that are still in their plastic wraps. There are some brand new ones in here too. So yeah. And as a heads up, for those of you who are becoming members, and I keep saying, you're going to get a box, you're going to get a box. You are getting a box. Um, I just got to finish getting, I got to come back for my other events and then the boxes will be shipped out. So they're still about two weeks away. So you still have a couple weeks to make sure that you become a member. And again, only one of the many perks that you are going to be getting for being a member. You have to be a glitter or a silver member. Then. It's, ah, pens overboard. I know this is probably so loud. All right, everybody's getting their ASMR loving right now. 
Oh my goodness. So I love to be able to pass it forward and give uh, away as many supplies as I can to my members. I love giving supplies to my members and then also to kids that need them because, you know, some of those kids don't get to play with stuff. They get, you know, crayons, which are great, and they get pencils, which are great, and they get, you know, some markers, but as we all know, the quality level of different products is totally different, and you get a good quality product in your hand, it makes the world of difference for somebody who's drawing or coloring. It makes the world of difference. So, yeah, that that's pretty darn awesome of Marvie, because there's a number, probably 95% of the pens that are in there are from Marvie. All right, okay, I gotta grab another bag. <laughs> Patience with me. Patience, my people. There we go. Whew. And yet another bag. All right. Okay. Oh, no, I can't show this bag. Oh, I grabbed the wrong. Did I grab the wrong? Nope. But okay. There is a video on Friday that had some more unboxing, specifically of unboxing of what's in this lovely bag. This was from our Creative Professionals Dinner. And it's only for if you're a YouTube member. It doesn't matter what level, all levels are going to be, but it's a special unboxing of all the classes I went to. And also that special creative professionals did our, which there's some really cool products in there, but nobody else gets to see it, but those that are members. So member only video this Friday. Be looking, looking for it. It's the other unboxing. All right, here's another bag. And I know a lot of you members are on, so wah, hoo hoo. All right, fun story. I got a bag. <laughs> so Crafters Companion also works with Totally Tiffany. And that's what this is. This is a totally Tiffany bag. And one of my roommates, uh, Cass Cassandra, um, she's Cassandra Lawrence, amazing artist. She is phenomenal. She is the mixed media queen. Her products, her art is phenomenal. She is going to be part of my next Makers Retreat, which is here in Austin. There's also a virtual version that's going to be a portion of it's com coming later. And um, she loves all things pink. She has pink hair. So if you ever saw me hanging out with somebody who had bright pink hair, that is Kathy. She is phenomenal. And she saw that Rhonda and I brought this bag home. This is a totally Tiffany bag. It's a little tote bag. And it is so, so cute. Look at that. I'm keeping this one. Um, sorry. <laughs> Some things I am keeping. <laughs> And she's like, oh, my God, I've been wanting that bag for forever. And we knew where they were, and they were getting rid of them. They even made a comment when we were coming around. We weren't filming at that moment. We were just chit-chatting about what was in the booth. We filmed it on day three. We went around because we already got the skinny on all the stuff. So they kind of gave us a baby booth tour. But we were exhausted at that point. And it was about four minutes before the showroom was going to close. And I didn't want to start a live video and then have to end it within five minutes. It just seemed silly. So that they were on our next day for our booth tour. And we knew where these tote bags were. And this actually got shown as part of the live on day three because we snagged one. They're like, yeah, come grab it. It's right there. I'm like, my friend would love it. Anyway, so we grabbed her bad tote bag. Little did we know she had already grabbed one. So now she has two, <laughs> which I don't think she's complaining about. But it's such a cute tote bag. And it's got a, it's got a firm bottom, so it sets nicely. So you can put lots of heavy things in here. But you can see what's in here, too. So, yeah, it's just a nice, it's a really good, nice, it's got like a front huge opening zipper top great bag so there's that all right you're getting all the skinny on all of the weird stuff that happened in the background all right so this is the other pen bag these are different companies that were passing out pens while we were there so here we have crescent creative they have a few different things so here we have a sketchbook here we have some pencils some cute pencils that we got just some colored pencils there we go I might give these ones to my son. He loves to sketch and to draw. So he might get over that little. I, and I keep my notepads because, man, I use them. And then and then, So here we have Crescent Creative. They were, it was on day one we went through there. And I actually showed me picking up this little tote bag. Um, and they were busy having a meeting. And so sometimes with some of the booths, I did not get a chance to chit chat with them because they were busy. I also love this little zipper pouch. This is an awesome little zipper pouch. Fabulous. All right, here is another one from a company we were walking by uh, from Japan. And I cannot remember the name off the top of my head, but I remember reading it on the back of more pens. This is the more pens bag. Um, Yaksmoto. So again, from Japan, Yaksmoto. Here we have some beautiful, beautiful pens. I'm not going to really delve into them too much. Oh, here we go. But they are clickable, retractable pens. 
and they're all it's beautiful metallic colors. Look at the gorgeousness of those colors. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Fair question. Trying to see if anybody had a question. You guys are just chit-chatting amongst yourselves. Um, they also had a bunch of origami paper, so they said, please take one, so I did that. We filmed them while we were live, so here's another one. And they handed us this little tote bag. Uh, Rhonda got one of these as well, so here's a little flamingo. And then they said, please take one. And they had two rainbows, was using some of their watercolors. And I said, may I take both rainbows? They said, absolutely, because I love my rainbows. So really, really cute. And found some of their colors. And then they also have this little tiny, tiny hundred sheet of origami paper from, ya I'm not going to say this correctly, Y-A-S-U-T-O-M-O, -O. Yasmoto. I think that's right. But it's all origami paper. And look at all that origami paper in there. I'm going to have fun with that. Or I might pass that along. And then we have... Um, Detail a pigment liner, and then a little candy all the way from Japan. And I have no idea what that says. Does anybody read Japanese? Anybody? <laughs> no idea. And then a cute little pencil. But oh my gosh, look how cute that is. I love that. And they had other products. This was just a little goodie bag that they gave to us after we were walking through and talking, chit chatting with them. So there's that. Cute, cute, cute. That was the Jap no, this, it was one of the Japanese paper companies um, and they had tons of little origami paper. And they were, um, if you walked into the showroom floor, this booth was on the left side towards the back. So not all the way on the left side, but kind of just one row over. So they were there. Nice company, really, really nice company. Did you like the origami paper? Um, there was two booths that had origami paper. One of them was this company, and I, we, I didn't have not played with it yet. Um, the other one had a whole bunch of different designs, and they were showing, they had the kit, and it's where I held up the little Harry Potter dude, and they had all these fun little characters where it's like they made the same shape, and then they were gluing them together like Legos, kind of, and making little characters out of the origami paper, which I thought was super cool. Um, and that was a whole different booth. So those were two on opposite sides of the showroom floor as well. So th those were... Uh, yeah, I mean, I'm a sucker for pretty paper. <laughs> and origami paper is really fun because it's a different kind of paper. It's got a different texture to it. And then there was a whole other paper booth that was all different types of papers from Japan. And then they were putting like a film on it. They were in Demo Alley and they were showing how you could create more texture with the paper and make it stronger and it looked crinkly. Uh, that was really cool. That's going to a whole, they have some really, really cool papers. It's not just printer paper that you put a pretty pattern on, but like what the paper is made of that comes from Japan. And oh my goodness, there's so many types. And I, I don't know enough about it to even explain it to everybody, but it's so cool. It's so cool. I know, I'm a kind of a paper snob. But, oh, it's off, 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 off. <laughs> it is cool stuff. All right. Paper Mate gave me three Inkjoy pens. Awesome, awesome. I love these. Love Inkjoy pens. So I got three of those. Um, here we have a little kitty bag they were passing out. And this one was over in Pentel. So this is the Milky Brush. We did not get a chance to do, last year I did a really detailed video inside Pentel and they showed us all the cool stuff. But when we went around to this time, they were busy. So we just kind of walked into the booth and um, doing a little peruse of theirs. But they had this. Here we have a point liner. Um, here we have a uh, Flotun 08. Here we have the Inner Gel Liquid Gel Ink. And then so this is just a few different other pens. Brush Sign Pen. Um, this is one. Another one, Brush Sign Pen. And then this one we have uh, the Matte Top. Oh, they talked about this one last year. This was a newer one last year. Milky Brush. I have no idea. Ink color. This one's a pastel green. So, I, again, I didn't get a chance to talk with them much. But you know who probably got the best video for all the pens that are there? You need to go check out Jenny's uh, crayon collection. She's got a YouTube video and she is all about pens, color swatching. She was in Zebra, she was everywhere. Anywhere that they had a pen, she was there. So she has a video that already went live. Go check out Jenny's crayon collection. She is the pen queen, the marker queen. Anything to do that something in your hand you can draw with, um, pens, markers, pencils, you name it. She loves markers the best. And I bet she's got the skinny and all the stuff that's going on with Pentel. I can almost guarantee you she did. She was uh, hanging out with uh, Zebra most of the time because <laughs> she loves them. And just so many amazing companies. Yeah. So if you need your, your pen fix, you can go chit chat with her. We I briefly went to Zebra and we did get, uh, we saw some really cool products coming from Zebra. And then at the very end of the show, we had a big tub sitting out full of all of these 
Um, and these are the midliners. So he's like, yeah, take a bunch, take what you like. So I went through and I just grabbed whatever could fit in my hands, try not to duplicate too many of the midliners. But yeah, I got a whole bunch of these double-ended midliners. I think not all of them are, they're all double-ended actually. But I tried to get like one of every color. He had a bin full of probably a thousand markers, all of which they were playing on. So these ones were awesome. So I got to grab these, I'll pass some of these. Some of these might go into some people's bag. Um, here we have the new one from Edding. So these are their new glitter color markers are coming out. I might have to do a special video just on swatching these. Would you love that? If I just had a video where I swatched the markers and unboxing, but like, okay, well, here's the ones I got from there. Is that a cool thing to watch? I don't know. You let me know. <laughs> so here are, it's just fun to swatch them. I don't know why. I don't do anything with them. It's just like drawing a line and seeing what they do. How pretty is that? So these are the new glitter ones. I did showcase this on one of the videos. All things pen. <laughs> It's a thing, I know, I know. Um, so these, here's some of the pastels. They also had one that is like a clear color. So if you draw with another marker and then you go over top of that, um, you can see the, it like glitterizes it. They called it the glitterizer, which I thought was really fun. Um, let's see what else I got. There's more in the bag. You'd be in heaven with all those pens. I know, scrapbooking teachers, uh, we have a pen problem. <laughs> oh, here it is, they gave it to me. This is the glitter brush pen. This is that clear one. And it looks silver, but it's actually clear. Uh, oh, here, it's on my airline ticket. It's just clear and it's just right there. So you put it over top of a color and it makes it glittery. So they gave me the glitter one, the glitterizer, but they had a few other ones and they said, yeah, please take them. I've worked with adding on and off for the past little while. So these are glitter color pens. This is just a metallic pen, the metallic marker, and they're all brush markers. You can see here, there's a brush marker, really fun. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to take some of my markers, and uh, when I go to my, um, here, I'm getting them off, getting more. Uh, here's some more of the edding markers here, just different colors. These are all the brush metallic pen markers, and these are all the brush nibs. When I go to my planner conference, this one's got a little bit of a different nib, actually. So very, very fun. And then I just got some regular pens. Well, not all of them are regular pens. Um, here I have, this is a fun one. I didn't even know I had these. And it was from Zebra. So here's a couple other Zebra pens that I grabbed. And they're all in Japanese, so I have no idea. I don't know. <laughs> Anybody help? <laughs> he had the tub sitting out, and all I did was go, thank you. <laughs> he said, please take some. I got some pens. Oh, I was supposed to give one of these to Rhonda. Bummer. Rhonda, these, one of these is yours. Um, just a regular pen. So somebody's going to get a silicoil pen. It's a way to clean your brushes. I also got a really nice, um, this is from Zebra as well. I'm, keep, I'm giving this one to my son, or I might keep this one. I am a sucker for a really good um, pencil, a mechanical pencil. This is where, this is where I love, my love is a mechanical pencil. I'm a mechanical pencil snob. I have to have a good one. <laughs> and then uh, Diamond Art was giving out a lovely pen, just a regular pen but it's got like a good weight to the pen. Like this isn't a cheap pen. This is a good quality pen. I'm gonna keep this one. <laughs> so many pens, but yes, a lot of these are gonna go off to you guys. Don't worry. Okay, there's a couple more bags. These bags, I'm, I'm, I have to put these back or my table gets too full and I have nothing else to pull out. But if you notice, I've had a lot of purple bags. I brought some extra purple bags. Oh no, the cat fell off, sugar. That was to that glitter one too. Darn it, where'd it go, where'd it go, where'd it go? Before it dries out. I will find you. Aha, found it. <laughs> okay, make sure this gets on. Snap, you gotta hear that snap. Um, one of the events we went to, it was the very first day of the, of the show. And it was, oh, I was talking about purple bags. I have extra purple bags to give you guys. Sorry, my brain is woo all over. I'm so excited, I can't keep my train of thought. So we were at the first night, we had our um, creative professionals. We had a special event just for the creative professionals with manufacturers. And that unboxing is if you're a member only on Friday. So it's become a member so you can see this fun stuff showing up. And then we had a dinner that Stacy Park hosted us. She paid for that, everything but alcohol. So we paid for our own alcohol. But um, we got some swag at that event. So Janet Treishman out of Try It, Like It, Create It. She's the one who had the little create pin that we, I was wearing on my lanyard. She has reached out to some of the companies, some that were at the trade show and some that were not. So we got a swag bag. 
and actually two swag bags. Let me go grab them because they're right there. I had to like get off screen with all my stuff. <laughs> There's so much stuff. <laughs> There's so much. Oh my goodness. Now these, all these items I am keeping unless they're duplicates of what I already have. Hello, everybody. Debbie was one of those ones that I just never got a chance to see. And I even messaged her. I'm like, I saw you. I got a hug. I got a picture. And I felt like I never saw you again. Ah, <laughs> you know, and it's just, it's dumb luck when it comes to that stuff. So these are products that were given to us to specifically showcase um, from these companies. And they're not ones I am giving away unless I have a duplicate of that product already. So they're for me to use in future videos and obviously for unboxing. So let's take a look at what I got. This one's fine. All right. Probably, and I'm not going to divulge my top faves or anything, but I'm going to divulge this one. So Sizzix launched this one last year. This is the stencil and stamp tool. And there was a video that I came out two days ago, I believe, that showed how to use this the stencil and stamp tool. So it's a new stamping platform. It unhinges. It's really, really cool. And I got to play with this in some of my classes. And then, Alex speaking of which, Alexis is on from Sizzix. Hey, <laughs> I was just divulging. This was my favorite product of the show. She is the one that we did the demo with. So that video went live a couple of days. And I'm, I'm opening up the Sizzix stuff. <laughs> And my, I think the favorite thing that I got to play with, because the only time I actually got to play with products and the biggest wow factor I had, oh, and there's my phone. And that would be my child saying, please come get me. So give me one minute. I'm going to tell him to, I'll be there shortly. Yay lives. Hang on to that note about Sizzix for a minute. Yeah. Um, I'm telling him I'm live. My live went way longer than I expected. So, uh, <laughs> he gets to walk home. It's okay. He should be driving right now. He's got a car sitting in the driveway. That's his. But does he want to get his driving up there? He's like, please come get me. So he can walk. It's okay. It's not that far. Anyway, so yes, hands down, my favorite thing I got to do while I was at the show was playing with the Civic new, I'm, I'm going to say it wrong, some stamp and pencil tool. And on top of that, the new thing that's coming out in May, so heads up, it's coming out in May. Oh, the stamp and spin. I have not had so much fun playing with a product that is something that's already very familiar to me, which is stamping. I mean, I love stamping. Something that is so familiar, but making it feel so brand new again. And that's what this did. It felt easy. And the satisfaction of hearing it go click as I turned the wheel and knowing it was clicking in place and lining up in place because we got to play with this in our classes was amazing. So to me, and I know everybody's got a different opinion, this was my big, big winner and my big take from the show was this. And I love this. So yeah, there's gonna be some stuff coming with that. And I'm not just saying that because she's on Instagram right now, truly. And I was gonna, the video has already been made. It has just not gone live yet, but that, this is my number one take from the show in terms of my big wow factor, the thing that I love. They even won an award for this in a couple of different shows they've gone to. Um, it, it's very, very cool. So this came from the designer gym. This was in my goodie bag. I also got the multimedia mat, and I got to play with this in some of my classes too. It's a great mat. Um, yeah, hey Taylor. <laughs> People from Sizzix are watching now. Oh my God, no, I'm just kidding. No, they're awesome. Um, it's this, if uh, I gotta open from the right side. There we go. This multimedia mat is fabulous. And it is, it comes with a little rubber, little bandy thing that you can open up and it rolls open and you have spots to put your paints or your multimedia. It's silicone, it lays flat. It's not super big, which I love because I can hold it off to the side as I'm crafting or I can have it and I can work on it. You can watercolor on it. It's easy to clean up, which is love. I think I said that twice now. Like it's easy to clean up. Sometimes you get a product and it's just difficult to clean and you've got all your multimedia on there. You can take your ink pad and swipe it across. It's not heavy, but it's durable. Um, I have found some of the other multimedia mats out there or mixed media mats. I've, I've scratched them. I've perforated them. I've poked holes through them. Like I'm, I'm not a, I'm not a gentle crafter. I, I get aggressive with my multimedia, my mixed media. So I like that this is a little bit more sturdy. That's that's because my other ones, I'm not going to show them right now, but they're, 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 they're bad. <laughs> so I have played with this before. I have one of these 
and I have yet to destroy one. So that, that says something because I destroy my products, if I, it, especially with mixed media, because I get rough in there and I like scrape and I, you know, use my tools and I'm not always using a plastic. Sometimes I'm using a metal scraper and I can damage stuff. Anybody else done that? So this one have yet to damage. Let's see what else is in here. Um, I have inter I haven't even looked at these yet. I got the bag and then I put them away so I'd be surprised what was in here. But I did notice the stamp set tools. Here we have the intricate craft tool set. So this is a really, really cool thing. Um, I'm gonna open it from the bottom. Oh, my kids are, there was, my kids, my kids, I'm, I'm reading. <laughs> no, my 14 year old cannot wait to drive. We came home, like, my husband's sending texts to me er, er, about this car that landed in our lap. Couldn't have found a better situation for our son. But just take a look. This is a multi-tool, I'll tell the car story in a minute. Where you have your main pen, ah, pop out. And then you have different tools you can pop in on either side. So, whoops, I didn't lock it in place. So you pop it in and then you turn it to lock it in place. And so you have a little scrapey tool. You've got all these, and this is just one of a couple of different tool sets. There's another one that's got a brayer on it. There's different tool endings. Oops, let's go this way. No, it goes this way. Um, I'm going to be very bad about putting this back in, but you can see that there's lots of different endings you can put in here. And this is one if you just want to have an ending for it. So you can see that there's uh, different nibs at the bottom. And so you can play around and it just adds to all of your different things you're doing with the multimedia. So there's also the adhesive eraser on one. This is a little quick pick sticker, picky up tool, a little spatula tool. So it's really, really cool. I love that they think ahead. You don't have to have a whole bunch of little tools. It's all in one and you just replace the endings, which is really nice. And then the another lovely product we got was the new Stacy Park. This is the Gotcha Magnetic Craft Tool, which it's a giant magnet and it sits on your desk and it is so awesome. I'm gonna break this, but it's okay. And this is only one of a couple of tool sets that they have. This is like the round two is what I think. I don't know, Taylor likes this. How many different tool sets do they have? Because there's a different set, is there, one or two, or is there three? Love to know. All right, so I'm opening up the magnet thing. If you have cats with claws, don't leave your silicone mat out. I left a brand new one out in the desk, came back, and the cat had been clawed. Big hole in it. Good to know. Um, we have three different craft tool sets. That's what, okay, so there it is. I thought there was only two, but there's three. See, this is why I ask these questions. Thank you, Taylor. So there's three. I now have two of them, and I love them. Uh, my don't have a cat, but I have a dog. And yes, I could see how his claws would damage that. But I don't think my dog's gonna jump on my desk. So, or in my drawer. I could, he probably would chew it though. But yeah, I'm not letting my dog get hold of that one. So well, here is the magnet, look at that. And it's got a little stand, so you can prop it up. Let me show you, look at this. So it sits right there. And then you can put all your magnetic items on there. So if you've got a die, which I just happen to have, look at that, sticks right there. Boom, there it is. Ta-da! Oh, that's a bummer about your cat ruining it, though. That sucks. So I love this. Nice and handy. And I like that also, here it is. It, it folds up nice and flat. So that way you no longer, it, like, it can fit in a drawer and be fine. Just be careful. It doesn't go by any computers. This is a magnet. I'm going to put my little techie hat on for a minute. This is a magnet. So your phone is fine. But anything that has anything that spins, which includes a laptop or a desktop computer, anything that has like a spinning mechanism, because those are magnetically, it'll damage that. So keep this away from your laptops and your desktops. Your tablets and things should be fine, but even then, any electronics you really shouldn't have near magnets, just to be safe, just saying. Um, my little PSA to everybody, but I love magnets for my dyes. Oh, it's great, 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 great. And this is nice and portable, and it's not super heavy either, which I love. Love the portability of this thing. All right, so that was one of the awesome baggy things that we got from our designer dinner. So thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm going to be playing. I have my little toolkit now. <laughs> so excited. And then my multi mat. Oh, so many goodies. So many things to play with. All right. Other goody things. I'm doing this. I shouldn't be doing this. It needs to play my face. End face. Other little goody things that we got in our crafty dinner. Stacey's got your tool. It's cool. So this is from Emerald Creek. These are little semi-precious gemstone chips you can add to some of your mixed media. Um, what do you use that for? Which Sorry, she's okay. On Instagram, Debbie, you're saying, what do you use that for? Talking about the magnets? Just verifying what you're asking me for. 
Okay, then I can come back and answer that question. I also have a multi-purpose cleaner from Iron on Ink. This is from Artist Free. I love it. I love a good cleaner. Love, love, love a good cleaner. Um, we also, pets are so much fun. The magnet. Oh, okay. So specifically, you can put all your dyes. So if you are crafting and you have, you've just got finished die cutting something and you have your dies, just think, I'm going to show you, you got your little itty bitty dies and then you put your paper down, you put your stuff and you don't want to lose them. You can throw your dies up on here and they're out of the way. They're not going to fall off. And then now you're not going to lose them because I, I have had it happen so many times before, you know, like this is a great little tool for that. And it's nice profile. It can kind of sit off in the corner out of the way. It can fit big dies too. Um, and so it's just a nice giant magnet to hold your little little products that way, specifically your wafer thin dies, they don't get lost. And, you know, it's, it's magnets are awesome for that. So it's a great little tool to have. And again, if you're not actively using it, look how small of a profile it is now, right? But I like the little pop out so I can see it in front of me and, and for that. Taylor says she has three on her desk. I love it. It's so handy. Yes, it's a very handy little profile. And I've got drawers where I keep a lot of my stuff right here. And this can fit in my drawer very nicely because it's nice and flat. So I love things on my desk that are very useful. But I also love being able to store something that is not giant or it can collapse, like a little collapsible part of this, and it doesn't take up a lot of space. Space is a big deal for me because you're seeing my studio right here. I mean, I have a work room back there, but this is my studio that I film in, and I keep a lot of my products here. So slimline things, things that are nice and small, big win. And I, I know I'm not alone in terms of having limited space to do all of your creating in. Some of us have very limited space, or we have a bag that we keep our, store our stuff in. So small profile, fantastic. Okay, but keep going because there's so much more stuff. All right, so we have another beautiful, we have uh, Artist Grave Embossing Powder. This is also from Emerald Creek Design. Look how beautiful that is. Awesome. Here we have, ooh, these are the extra little tabs that if you have a stencil, and I don't have one out right now, it's already packed it away, that you can use with this awesome stencil tool right here. So they have their, if you get a stencil from Sizzix, it already has the ability to have these little tab markers on it. So you can layer all your stencils and this is upside down. But what if you already have a stencil that doesn't have the little tab markers? Well, that's what's in here. So these little tabs, so you don't feel like, oh crap, I can't use this tool with my stencils. Well, yes you can. So you just, it's got a little a, adhesive thing and then it gives you those tabs, you line it up and then now you have the ability to use your existing stencils that don't have the tabs in them and line it up with this tool. So I love this. And you can buy, this comes in a pack of 10, I believe they're 10. Yep, 10 right there. Um, and you, you can keep buying them. So I think that's fabulous. It's a way to get some extra life out of your stencils and make sure your stencils are lining up just perfectly, which is, love this tool for that. I love this. How many suitcases did it take you to bring all your awesome haul? Um, so I'm like a Russian doll. <laughs> I have my little travel suitcase. So I have a backpack that I always wear and that's where I put all of my filming gear was in my backpack. And then I have uh, like your normal travel size suitcase that you could use. And it could be like your um, take on the plane, right? So it can fit in the overhead bin. So I have that. And then I have a giant suitcase. And so when I go, everything fit inside the giant suitcase. I put my little suitcase inside my big suitcase. So I only had to pay for one piece of luggage to fly there. And then I wore my backpack. And then when I come home, I pull apart the two suitcases. And I have two suitcases that then go under. And I try to put all the heavy, heavy stuff in the little one so my bigger one doesn't get overweight. And then I have to pay for two to come home because I usually fly American. It was the cheapest flight this time. There is a fun side note, but I, um, I'm saving that for the edited video. So you guys got to watch my whole storyline. I've given you lots of fun stories in this live, but there's so many more stories yet to go. So yeah, that, that story is yet to come. <laughs> About how I was not able having to pay for anything and even how overweight my luggage was. I was still good. All right, we got a beautiful package from Sculpey. Look at all this amazing clay. Oh, that's really crinkly. Um, so we have the liquid polymer clay, lots of Sculpey clay. This is the air-baked clay. That was in our kit. I also have, oh, now I already have this, so some lucky person's going to be getting this. The Marcosite Stardust Butter. I already have a couple of jars. This is from the Crafter's Workshop. Love, love, love. Um, here is Magic, uh, Maker's Magic. This is, I believe... 
I'm not sure. I think this is supposed to, this is a decoupage. And this is from the same company that does the scorch markers. So it's supposed to be waterproof sealer, craft glue, uh, project finish, and decoupage medium all in one. It's called Maker's Magic. I've never played with that before. So that's going to be interesting. That'll be new and fun. Oh, got some deco earth. I got a couple of jars of these, but I got, oh, look at this. I got some deco earth people. This is that new paint that came out from Deco Art that is made from 70% recycled house paint. That's awesome, right? So that is in here. This bag just keeps on giving. Oh my goodness, all right. I got some Colorista colored pencils. These ones are from Spectrum Noir. Look how beautiful those are. Love those. We have some stickers, Violet Studio. So Violet Studio is, this is the new one from Crafters Companion. And they are going to be going into some of the stores and all of the Violet Studio products are, were, oh, how much was that? They had a, uh, not a dollar, I think it was $3 or $2.50. It was a specific price point for all of them. And so uh, these are some of them. And then here is the new Crafters Companion, one Cosmic Collection. I don't know if this one's new, but look at this Cosmic Collection. And then here is another Totally Tiffany little organizer. This is the easy to organize little, little tote. It's kind of cute. I love that. Very, very cute. The deco, pa deco paint booth, da da da. Oh, um, there's also this little thing. This is a little organizer, and I believe it goes inside of here. And I need to look about what this all does. But it's a little organizer thing that goes with this somehow. I got to figure that out. And I'm not going to do that right now. Because I know my kid's like, why aren't you coming to pick me up? <laughs> I can just hear him grunting and complaining or he's going to be trudging his whole way home. So just to show you, this is the deco art. This is all the colors of the reclaimed paint right now. And it's made from 70% reclaimed paint from house paint. And here is all of the colors they have right now. So they have the little bottles that you can get. But I also got some that are the Giganto bottles. They also come in big, big. I, this is what I made my letter with was the deco earth paint. This was the white paint that went on my letter. So I actually got some black. I got three colors. I got black, and then I got, this isn't part of the set, but just to show you, black, sandstone, and white, because you can never have enough of these colors in my mind. So I love that that was a really cool thing. But they're coming out with things that are recyclable. So here is Crafter's Workshop. This is going to go to somebody because I have a bajillion of them and because I work with them. Um, whew, beautiful stamp from Emerald Creek. Look at that. That is gorgeous. What else we have in here? We have a little bit of some uh, glacé watercolor from Ann Butler. It's Moonstone. Beautiful. This is the bag that keeps on giving. Oh, here's all the different companies that, we are, that are in here. So I'll come back to that. Here we have some Penny Black Stick and Shine for foil embossing powders and glitter. So we have some stamps. And there's some foil in here. And so it's to make this little cute card. How fun. Or possibly that cute card. What else do we have in here? Oh, look at these beautiful butterflies. This is from All and Create. They had, and I made stupidest, I'm walking in and half the time I'm trying to think ahead when I'm live and I'm reading it and I read it backwards. I read Create and All because I was reading it from the wrong direction because the All was, and so I said that and I said it wrong and I'm so sorry because <laughs> I know it's All and Create. Um, oops, <laughs> the bottom line, and it didn't register I had done it until I went back and watched the replay. So very sorry if I said any of the company's names wrong. I'm walking up on the booth. I'm trying to hunt, keep the flow of the video moving so it doesn't be just dead space and standing there. And I'm trying to read and comprehend what's in front of me while I'm also talking. And if I made any mistakes, I'm very, very, very sorry. It's not intentional in any way, shape, or form. And that was one I definitely said wrong because I said it backwards. But they had the coolest washi tape that it's like these strips of washi tape you pull off and it made a design. And it, they had a few different ones and I'd never seen that before. I thought that was really, really fun. That was cool. Uh, let's see. I think that's, oh, oh, just little things. So like I got a color, wo color wheel from Deco Earth. Um, yeah. So, and then look at this cool bag. Hang on. Oh, you can't see me because I got my camera backwards. Look at the cool bag. <laughs> that is so much fun. Ooh, that, that, that's it. <laughs> that's it.
that is all this stuff. Now, again, this is not all I got, but this is all I am showing to my non. So this is everything I got as I was walking around. I'm, I'm going to rephrase this. That doesn't come out wrong. <laughs> all the items I picked out on the showroom floor and also all the items I got from going to the Creative Professionals dinner. And we got our swag bag from that. So if I was given on the showroom floor, if I was given it as before or after, um, but all the products I got from my classes and that I got from the Creative Professionals dinner, uh, not dinner, sorry, the event, come on Friday because that's where that video is going to be released. So only if you are one of my YouTube members will you get to see that unboxing on Friday, 1 p.m. Central. I always go live at 1 p.m. Central or a video is released at 1 p.m. Central. So that's my go-to time. Um, but yeah, that video will be going. And oh my goodness, so many amazing companies. And I saw lots of these amazing companies jumping on. Thank you, thank you, thank you, everybody for jumping on. I truly appreciate that. We've been going for two and a half hours. Holy crap. <laughs> so before I leave, hit that like button, <laughs> smash that thumbs up. If you're on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, please stay like, I love that. Thank you so much for joining me. And uh, yeah, more and lots of lots of videos still yet to come. There's so much more content still to go. I am not anywhere done yet from all the footage I got while I was at Creativation and edited videos, some more lives that we did, or a live that we filmed, but I'm editing up, you know, lots of mishmashes. So obviously no more lives, because we're not there anymore, but you, you, you get what I mean. <laughs> Booth tours, things like that. Put new product showcase. So lots of fun stuff still yet to come. And thank you again for hanging on with me. I did not even realize we were here for two and a half hours. No wonder my kids like, come pick me up now. <laughs> Where are you? Ooh, sorry, kid. So thank you again so much. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I will catch everybody later. We'll be back for another live next Wednesday at 1 p.m. Central. But I'm going to be putting out a video every day for the next little while because I got so much content. So why not, right? Bye, everybody. Oh, thank you, Taylor. Sorry, I just noticed her comments. Absolutely. Always supportive. <laughs> I had to throw that in at the end. All right. Bye-bye, everybody.